Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. Welcome to another episode of the Council of Six, a weekly Dungeons and Dragons campaign fraught with all the drama and peril that will take your breath and steal your mind. My name is Jay Longaro, your DM for the night, and on this campaign we will be using Tyranny of Dragons, which tells an epic story across two adventures of which Ford the Dragon Queen is the first. Unlike our other streams, we won't be commenting on your comments while we are in play as to remain immersed in the story, but please still engage and comment as we go along. During the breaks, we will go through the comments and interact with you all, because at the end of the day, we are presenting this for your enjoyment. But without any further ado, are you ready to leave all that's real behind? Because there's something breaking at the brick of every wall that's holding all that you know. So tell me, do you want to go to the Council of Sam? Here we are, Friday night, new campaign with new people. I don't even know who these fuckers are, but it's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll make a game of it. Uh, <laughs> welcome, everyone, to the Console 6. Like I showed, I've been telling you guys for the last couple weeks, we're starting a new campaign here on Friday nights utilizing the uh, Forgotten Realms uh, module Horde of the Dragon Queen, which is part of Tyranny of Dragons, a larger story uh, set in Forgotten Realms, kind of a room along the Sword Coast, not that far from Baldur's Gate. And that's where you guys will be going. So we have some new players here. Uh, no one knows who you are. Say hi to the chat real quick. Stormy's here, one of my good friends. Because what the rank with us? What up, Stormy? Thank you for stopping in. Jedi Mike is here as well. Thank you for stopping in. So we're gonna go around the table. Why don't you guys uh, go around and uh, introduce yourself? Uh, tell the people whatever uh, you want them to know. We'll start. Just go clockwise. Start with Danik and, and go clockwise. Right. Oh, great. I go first. That's super great. Um, <laughs> you didn't tell us there was going to be icebreakers, bro. Yes. Um, so, uh, yeah, my name's uh, my name's Dylan. Um, I played uh, Thanek Bridgebreaker uh, in this new campaign for as long as the DM decides to keep me alive. Um, been into I've been playing D&D &D for a little bit less than a year now. Uh, I've been a spectator for a couple of years now. Um, so I guess you guys will be the judge about whether or not I'm uh, successful in my transition to stream shit. So cool beans. Uh, hi, my name is Kataro, and I'll be playing Fizz Van Hall, the Tempest Clerk and Chef for Hire. Uh, I uh, Currently, it's 3 a.m. where I live. I'm coked up on Gamer Subs, and I am a <laughs> god that cannot be stopped. I dare you. <laughs> Don't threaten the DM that way, my friend. I will do what I want. There is yes. no god. See, to me, me, don't worry about it, because, see, while there's this whole trope of the DM loving to kill players when they step out of line, to me, you see, I'm Italian, I'm Sicilian. It's much easier to drag out the torture than to just kill. Mm, <laughs> I dare you. I am, I am taking notes. I am taking notes. <laughs> yeah. Cassian. Oh, wonderful. My name On is you. Oscar. Uh, that's what you guys could call me, or Cassian. This guy up here is my personal chef in-game. <laughs> I am going to be playing a wizard, and I will be hiding behind literally everybody. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> Classic. Because well, you're a wizard, that makes sense. Yeah. I have more HP than I do intelligence, so. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I do too. <laughs> yeah. I have... oh, well, God. for a wizard, it was a choice of die or be smart, so I chose to not die. Oh, okay. decision. That'll do it. Uh, uh, my name is Bryce. I'll be playing Malios Vadu, Mal for short, uh, the bard who will be stealing your hearts. You've stolen seducing. my heart already. Because. Prepare for the seducing <laughs> of the doors. It's coming. Yes, that the seducer awesome. of doors. <laughs> oh, There's oh, an animate oh, object spell. Oh. I found it. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole new definition to it's knock on wood. It's still taking oh. notes. <laughs> Move it. Okay. Uh, hi, guys. My name is Deanna. I'm going to be playing Elizabeth Smith. Uh, hopefully the person that will be opening the doors instead of seducing them. <laughs> so I'll be unlocking them and... Yeah, that, that's about it. Well, you'll get there into you the doors more than he does. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> and I guess uh, also let everyone know, I mean, they see the name tags obviously have your classes. Let them know what what, uh, what races uh, you guys are playing um, as oh. well. Thanik, you're a... Uh, I am a Goliath fighter. Hopefully a, a more refined version of my brethren. I keep looking at my microphone when I'm talking like that's my game. I'm gonna fix this by the end of it. You folks are Is that a little smiley face above your your mic your uh, webcam? That helps me. Oh wait, that's the wrong direction. Yeah, no, that's I'm just I'm just like on my name tag, but it's also flip, so I'm just like a little confused. And what am I against? It's here and here. <laughs> and uh, I, uh, your, your your character's race is a what of uh, his? Oh, uh, my uh, Fizz is a 
Sweet Christ, I can never say pronounce Furball. it. Phil Furball. 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 Yeah. furball. <laughs> He's a furball. I'm so dumb, I don't even know what race I am. <laughs> Low intelligence. <laughs> Is he a furry? As long as you That's have your band aids, we're, we're fine. Oh we're yeah, I, I love I love furries. <laughs> the coat, right? I, I like them too. Oh no! <laughs> yes, oh, God. I, as in the game, am a human. Yep. Okay. Mel, I recognize uh, I'm a, t- a red skin tiefling. Classic. Um, I'm going to be playing a reborn. Ooh. So, for those who know, that's kind of a Frankenstein, I guess you could say. Uh, yeah, <laughs> basically, no. Frankenstein is really easy that's on the eyes. Yeah. Frankenstein, huh? Do heal or oh, don't heal? You heal. You definitely okay. heal me. Yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't sure definitely if it was like, heals me. hurt because no, yeah. no, no. Thankfully, it's, it's not like an undead undead. It's it's it's, it's okay. Fun. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. We'll say hi. Some more people are coming in the chat. Uh, a good friend Zoe came in. She goes, "What the heck? Am I chopped liver? Your your message didn't pop yet up yet, Zoe." When I was going through it, Jedi I mean, last one. Uh, but, yeah, but 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 again, Stormy does say yes, yes, you are Zoe. Uh, so you are chopped liver. Uh, <laughs> like, also, so we've been crying. captivating so far. Let's be honest. <laughs> well, I mean, like look at uh, all the fabulous in... beards here. Like look yeah, at yeah, it. It's I, just... uh, so I, got my, I got my dinosaur Christmas jammies on, guys. Like, that's this is really <laughs> Don't let my daughter see this. She'll really the bar. Who's here seducing though. better? Stormy does say, I'm loving these intros. So, you know, you guys are, you guys are doing it. You guys, you guys are going through it. You're going through it. What's uh, Jack, uh, What was that show? John, it's like when all the boxes just go, I Which one? That's <laughs> friends. And yes, like Stream Element says, guys, remember to hit smash that like button, share the stream, and subscribe to the new channel. I'll help it. Uh, go out and, and I think I know who the synthetic plays is. Uh, it sounds familiar. Um, no it, idea. It, <laughs> no idea. Right? Uh, it's, uh, that's, that's not me. That's all I know to say. <laughs> all right. I, I, so I guess I'm not not ahead, high enough ahead. level to split the realms yet. <laughs> <laughs> so without any further ado, I guess we can take a look at the campaign and start getting ready. I don't know, you were here before me, and I got here at 7, so. But it wasn't in OBS. There we go. Now you guys should oh, okay. Yeah, I, I forgot to add my mic to OBS. Sorry, guys. All right, I'll start it over again. So, like <laughs> the characters uh, and our players know, uh, we went over this in Session Zero. Uh, we're starting uh, just, you know, on along the uh, Sword Coast, not too far from the city of Baldur's Gate, uh, in a lot of town called Greenest, and that's where our players are going to begin uh, this campaign. Uh, so we're going to start out there, and uh, I guess we can change this map here so we can look at it and then do the uh, introduction. So give me one second here. <clears throat> it begins. It fits. Also, are we, or, are we already supposed to be in our oh, spots? Yeah. 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 There we go. Hey, here we go. <laughs> the wonders of the internet we meet All each right. other. Ooh, baby. <clears throat> All right, so let's get into game mode and get going. So characters, players, for the past several days, you've been traveling a road that winds lazily across the rolling grasslands of Greenfields. Sundown is approaching when you top a rise and you see a town of Greenfields just a few short miles away. But instead of the pleasant, welcoming town you expected, you see columns of black smoke rising from the burning buildings, running figures that are little more than dots at this distance, and a dark, winged shape wheeling low over the keep that rises above the center of the town. Um, as you enter Greenest, where you guys are on the map right here, you see bushes and barns on fire, and a few buildings are smoking as the streets of the town are overrun by invading forces. The smoke is choking the air, and you can see glow of embers floating throughout the chaos. It's about 9 p.m. at night, so like the sun is going down. Uh, it's, it's, it's twilight, and, and like I said, the, the fires are kind of like illuminating the sky as you're coming in. You can hear sh- uh, shouts and screams can be heard coming from all directions. 
Um, and as you guys enter the town, as you pass the first building, uh, on your left, you see some town folk hiding behind. Okay. All right. Um. Cool. Uh, I think. Uh. All right. I'm gonna move towards them slightly. And uh, ask... I'll, I'll follow. I'll be like, all right. So, there seems to be going on in this town. Uh, any ideas how we should proceed? I'm gonna scream out to the people and ask them if they're okay. Okay. Um, are you gonna... Are, are you... Go ahead, man. Say it. Say it. Say it. Hey, <laughs> folks, you guys good? Please, please, don't hurt us. We, we have nothing. We... Well, the one of them yells back as the other two kind of, like, crouch behind him. Uh, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna approach a little bit more and crouch down and say, we're not here to hurt you. Are, What's are going you here on? To help? Please say you're yes. here to help. Our yes. What's going destroyed. on? People are dying. We have no idea what to do. I don't know. Just invaders just came and are just killing everyone. We have no idea. I mean, I think the keep might be safe, but we haven't gotten outside of here. We have no idea what's happening anywhere. All right. How? Okay. Well, uh, we don't. We're new here. You, you can't notice. So, uh, <laughs> if you like. We, you can follow us, and we'll promise to make sure you are safe from any enemies that come towards us, whoever or whatever they may be. We would help help us help you. So they, do, they kind of look at each other and they nod, and fearfully they kind of just like walk by your group and, and just try to stay behind hiding, so hopefully no one can see as you see just chaos happening in the town in front of you. I'm going to try right. to blend in with the, the townsfolk. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and, and Thanax, uh, Thanax taking just uh, as that's happening, Thanax taking just a couple of steps up the road, not quite to the intersection, mm -hmm. just trying to survey the scene. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, at, at the distance you're at right now, like I said, you do see chaos. You see figures running back and forth far in the distance. Uh, but right now, all, all through the smoke and the haze, that's all you can really see. Does it seem like it's happening more in front of us, or is it just really like it's, all around? It's kind of everywhere. Like as far as the sounds are concerned, you hear shouts and screams and and, and noises coming like from almost every direction. And stuff's happening everywhere. Uh, but like I said, if you look, if you're looking down the road that you're on, you do see stuff in the distance, movement, and people running to and fro. Uh, but you can't tell who's friend or who's foe or, or anything like that at this point. All right, uh, Fizz is gonna like take take out his shield and his mace, and he turns to the townsfolk and, and he'll say, "Right now, uh, we're gonna cooperate. You're gonna help us figure out who is lives here and who is the bad guys." And if you do that, I'll bash the bad guys and, you know, protect the others. Does that sound like a good deal? They kind of look at each other and look at you and just, like, shrug their shoulders. Fantastic. Like... Hey, the enthusiasm is much appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, Fizz is just going to, like, start walking down the road, bashing his shield with his mace. <laughs> yep, it's a Thanak, it's battle axe drawn, shield up, turning to everybody. Are we... Are we doing this now? Really? We just got here? It doesn't seem like we have a choice. <laughs> well, if uh, you all lead the way, I'll sure follow, I guess. I'll... I... You guys are going to get us all killed. So I'm going to be sneaky about this. And I'm going to stealth. Because I'm... S I, don't, I don't like oh, the feel oh. of this. <laughs> Malice is standing by uh, Cassian. <laughs> As, as she's as she's skittering off, and you just you just hear like a fading as you start walking away. My expertise is not getting people killed. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that, big boy. Uh, so, do you guys want to continue uh, down the road? Which direction do you want to go? Uh, Fizz is gonna oh, go, is gonna uh, kind of move slowly, but still bashing his shield, with his mace, just trying to get as much like attention, and just kind of <laughs> screaming. It's like. Townsfolk of Green Nest, if you require saving, please approach. You may want to make less noise. I why? <laughs> so as you guys move up the road, um, here's here. All right. So as you guys uh, make your way down the road, without warning, five humans dash out from the buildings uh, between the two buildings on your left. A limping man and three young children race across the street into the shadows, and a woman carrying a round shield and a broken spear turns and faces back in the direction from which they came. Six cobalt stream out of the alley 
on the family's heels and they fan out around woman who looks determined to delay the creatures for as long as possible. What to do? Okay. Uh, Cassian casts magic missiles targeting one kobold each. <laughs> Immediately. So we're immediately going into initiative. We're just going to... We're going in. Uh, we're yeah, uh, they, could be, they could be good kobolds. You don't know. People running away and then maybe, defending themselves. Maybe right. this is a town of kobolds and not humans. Have you ever considered sure, that? Sure. Too uh, late. And be aware. They are the two humans there right in between you guys and the kobolds as well. Uh, so they are oh. standing right there. It's okay. Magic missiles never misses. Sure. Because sure. All right. magic I, missiles... If, it's, <laughs> Uh, we, I guess, we, I guess we, we as do he's doing that, I'll I'll oh, I'll gosh. step up just briefly and and sort of make make some sort of statement along the lines of like like I I suggest you all separate quickly. <laughs> so the uh, woman uh, does she turns <laughs> around holding her spear and she looks at you, and she goes, "What is this?" She goes, uh, "My name is Linian Swift and this is my husband Cuff, and of course our children. They do have three uh, small children with them as well." Um, she kind of looks back at the cold balls who, who are moving in. So I don't know what your attentions are here in Greenness. But no one is safe out in the open. We must mark a way to keep. It's the only safe place left in this town. If you're helping, great. If not, I suggest you get the hell out of town or at least out of the way. Uh, she's speaking. I... Three darts go whipping by her and hit one kobold each. And as they're sort of like going past my ear, I'm just like, then I suggest you'd get behind me. Yeah, right, Fizz, I, I, was I not part of, and Fizz was not part of this conversation because he's still bashing his shield and can't hear a thing. He's just going to say, We're here to help! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, Mal is just uh, looking yeah. down, shaking his head. <laughs> since since Cassian uh, is intent on uh, the kobolds are chasing them, so I, I will allow him to do this one attack before we run into initiative. Uh, so uh, go ahead and uh, can which, I roll uh, pick, on pick a beyond? Yes, yes, definitely. Please do. do, do I'm so going to target D &D beyond. each because... one individual, one individually. So one dart for three of them. So I'll just go one, two, three. Uh, so you're going to go with kobold one, two, and three. Yeah. Those are the, yeah, one those are the top the top three. In, uh, the, okay, uh, the so top. one takes four, two takes three, and then another one takes four. Oh yeah, plus I forgot Magic one, Missile so does not have a hit to hit DC. It's just no, no, no. So <laughs> one and one and three take five, and two takes four. And they're dead, right? Yeah, the Cobalt. Oh, yeah, famously we have hate five uh, HP. Well, yeah, one in one and three instantly burn up. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, and, and actually, uh, and they they're gone. Block in time, but yes. Uh, two gets hit, but and, and it's kind of like standing there and, and and trying to roll around, trying to stop the flames from from burning them up. And uh, but yeah, one, one and three, just gone. They're dead. <laughs> Poof. Uh, so now, initiative time. So go ahead, everyone, roll for initiative. Oh boy. Uh... Oh. Okay, that's a D and D of Beyond Roll Nat twenty. Oh, nice. oh that there twenty. Well, it doesn't. It's like, initiative, but yeah, I got, the cool thing yeah, with that with, with the updates they've done to it. Spicy six. Ooh, the cool thing with the the, the encounter uh, uh, builder now in D and D Beyond, it automatically imports your rolls on D and D Beyond, so I don't have to add everyone's initiative, which makes things okay, cool, a lot easier. Are um, you are you getting mine? I don't feel like mine's coming through. Uh, let me see. No, yours did not come through. Let me refresh my page here. Because I've got the chat log, it's just not connecting. Right, and uh, and you, if you, what you do too, instead of I don't know if you're rolling the dice individually, but you on on initiative, with the box that says initiative, you just click on that and it'll roll it. Got it. You don't have to open up the individual dice; just hit on the uh, minus one, and it'll it'll roll it for you. Open See, up. See, that's minus what I'm one. doing. It's not translating. It's not coming across. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That's always super fun. Well, here, let me click it for you. Let's see what happens. It doesn't like you. Well, I just gave yeah, you a net. I just gave you a net twenty. I mean, I saw those three nat twenty. Take those. Yeah, so you're actually well, nineteen. Yeah. <laughs> but there you go. All right. Good so golly. I got to give. Uh, so they're going to be fighting with you too. Cuff and uh, Lennon are going to be fighting with you. So let me get their initiatives here. We gotta roll those manually. And, and I'm time. now out of spells. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have two spell slots, so that's one down. Hey, you took out two, so I mean, who's upset about that? Hey, man, two right. birds with one. All right, two kobolds with one stone. <laughs> and of course, ironically enough, guess who has the highest initiative? Cassian. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> so he gets to go again uh, okay. in this role. So yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, let me I'm take the other exactly ones off the maps that are dead. By the where way, where I am, and then I'm going to target the one that's injured, and I'm going to cast Toll of the Dead. 
he needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Number uh, which one? Number two, it would be. The two. save DC is 12. I mean, but he, I'm take, pretty sure he does either are, way. Let me take the ones that are dead off of here. So, yeah. This guy is dead. Damn and it. if he's missing hit points. If he succeeds, he doesn't take any damage. Wisdom saving throw? Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, that's wonderful. I got a whole mighty, mighty two. Uh, with his okay, so he wisdom. takes 1d12 points of damage. I will roll it right now. Mm -hmm. He takes 10 points of damage. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> a, bell, a bell rings in his head and it just pops. Yeah, no, he's, yeah, he, so his head explodes. Um, mm. His head and just explodes, uh, uh, and and uh, the the blood does splatter enough to like go over cut and linen and hit Danik in the face, uh, so uh, like a watermelon. So your Gallagher, of, 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 your Gallagher of greenest. Uh, <laughs> so that one is dead, and off the map. Uh, is that the end of your turn? That will end my turn. Yeah. Right, cool. Damn. Uh, it, <laughs> all right. So now it is the last Cobalt's number six's turn, which is a winged Cobalt. Oh. Um, so it's gonna. Uh, oh. So it kind of flaps its wings and looks menacingly at everyone. Um, and it's. Oh, did it have? Uh, I had a twenty-two not, on my initiative. Very... Did it beat me? Uh, it had a. Oh, wait, it skipped you. Why did it skip you? Yeah, no, it's your turn, Mel. I'm sorry. It's your turn. Okay. Uh, so I, I want to move. For some reason, it skipped you. Yeah, so I'll move uh, fifteen feet forward, mm -hmm. and then there's three kobolds instead, right? Yes. Uh, I'm just going to pick uh, Kobold number five and cast Vicious Mockery, saying, okay. You're not even a real dragon. Get back over there. <laughs> and he has to make a spell <laughs> save DC of uh, 13. Fizz, Fizz, in the, in the, Fizz heard that, and he's just bashing me. He's like, Burn! <laughs> that is a uh, wisdom of 13 he has to make. All right, let's see here. God, Kobolds are so stupid. Uh... <laughs> yeah. His minus okay, two so gives him a mighty, mighty five, so he failed th that one. Okay, so he's going to take 1d4 of damage, of psychic damage, which I just rolled that. Let me know if you saw it. So he should uh, take three psychic damage. There we go, three, yes. <clears throat> and then three he has disadvantage damage. on his next attack. And he's crying. Gotcha. <laughs> so that's my Cobalt action. don't cry! <laughs> my bad. So that's my so main. I thought it was my... a real dragon. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, and then, uh, no. Yeah, and then for my bonus action, I'm going to look at Thanic and be like, "You're big. They're small. Cut them in half and uh, give them an inspiration die." <laughs> <laughs> so he can add right, a d6 to works. any roll he doesn't know if it'll be good enough. Oh, it's a D6. No, Good to know. Thank you. D6. Yeah, it's a, it, All right. yeah, it's a D6 for my level. <laughs> I say it. We're going to go with uh, so the Winged Cobalt, which is Cobalt 6. Uh, so it's going to come up, um, and it sees you guys attacking, which we're doing way more damage than Cut than Linen. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to run right up to Thanic and, and kind of flap its wings and menacingly look at you, even looking up at you. Cobalt's not this uh, so it's, <laughs> it's flying, it's still looking yeah. up at me. <laughs> well, it's this one's kind of lazy. It's uh, still standing on the ground. It kind of it kind of did a little like a winged hop and then landed in front of you <laughs> as it came down. Uh, so it's gonna do. Uh, uh, it's gonna attack. Come at you his dagger. Uh, Twenty. So it does. I'm assuming Ooh. that hits. Yeah, it does. Uh, all right. Yeah. So it, so it takes it. It looks at you. Takes his dagger and because it's shorter, it, it it basically tries to stab you in the belly button, and it's seven points of damage. Right, your belly button. Ow! Oh, that would hurt. <laughs> in the belly button, that would In the belly button. Hurt. <laughs> oh. oh, you got hit. Uh, and then, yeah. So that that's so that's the end of his. Oh, actually, I should even roll. I need to need to, but they have pack tactics. All right. Uh, and who's next? Thenic is your turn. <laughs> so I'm just gonna look at this winged thing that's flying directly up in front of me and brandish the battle axe and say that was a mistake. Um, and I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to use my action to, to take a swipe at him. I've been playing around with it this entire time. And for whatever reason, like I have the campaign game login, but it keeps mm -hmm. reverting to like the explanation of what initiative is whenever I click the button rather than anything else. So I may and need you're, to have you're on, like, you're on your character only. sheet. Yeah. That has all the buttons and everything on there. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm, I'm choosing both the beyond number as well as the uh, just like the actual box of negative one for initiative, and it's not it's not translating. Well, I can roll, I can roll it for you for now until we figure it out. So, uh, what did you want to take with? Uh, yeah, so axe. it's just with the battle axe plus five to hit. All right, uh, and uh, five plus five equals ten. So you have a ten, and what is their AC? Uh, misses. Of so course it does. It, 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 so it sees I'm you coming out of the axe, be cool. and it takes its wings <laughs> and it flies out of the way as the axe goes slow. It does a little, it just slides right over the cobalt, and it sits back say, down, don't forget you had at your bleeding but... belly button. <laughs> you're lucky you're fast, small one. Um, Then, yeah, since we are super fun level ones, that be your boy's turn. All right. And... <laughs> Where's the next button? Next. All right. So now it's going to be uh, Linen who wants to help and attack. Um, so she's going to take her spear and go after one of them. Uh, let me bring her up here. <clears throat> she's here. So she's going to go to the back line over here and go after number four with her spear. Eleven plus two, thirteen. She misses. So she misses the cobalt completely. Oh no! Wait, she hits twelve. Yeah, she hits. Okay, so she hits the cobalt with her spear, and that cobalt uh, takes two points of damage as she stabs him in the knee. She kind of comes down with the, the, the spear right into his kneecap and oh. bops him right into it. So he takes two points of damage from the spear attack. Uh, and that was cobalt. E. All right, and then, so next is her husband's turn. Um, so he's going to come run up and, and help his, his wife as well and attack the same person. <clears throat> and he rolls an eight, so he misses with his little sword attack. He's hurt. He's actually down two hit points uh, from the earlier attack when they come running out from behind. So he misses with his sword attack, and his wife kind of looks at him and shakes her head, just wondering why she married him. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah come on dude it's, it's, a, good. Thing. it's a thing it's a thing <laughs> uh all right now it's a cobalt uh, c's turn why do i have so many player characters in here i gotta take some of these out all right so it's cobalt c's turn and he is going to take the threat that's in front of him and go after linen All right, so he comes at her with his dagger, and he does hit her. And his damage is going to be as he fights into it to stab her in the face. Oh, five points of damage. Uh, and Linen is down. She's down. She's down. Oh. She's on the ground. No, Linen. Uh, okay, uh, okay, okay. And now it's Cobalt's oh, turn. <laughs> the last Cobalt. So he he's gonna he's actually gonna run up. And, uh, oh, by the way, I don't know if you guys know this, uh, when you're looking at the map, if you're not hitting your mouse button, if you just hold down the shift key and drag your mouse, it actually uh, calculates distance for you. Oh, that's that's good, to know. good to know. That's good. Yeah. So it tells you exactly how far it is. So he does have range for that. So he's going to run up, and he's going to go after Fizz. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fizz is... So he's, yeah. Fizz you were making a lot of noise, just, bud. Tung, tung, tung. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're singing back there and, and banging on your shit. I mean, so he's like, happy. So he's going to come at you with his dagger as well. Uh, you're a little mm. more in, in, in height with him. Oh, and he rolls a... Oh, wait, pack tactics. <laughs> I got to roll for advantage. I forgot. It's not allowed. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 21. <laughs> 20. Ooh, that, yeah, that <laughs> 21. Yeah. One was a four, one like, was a 17. Like, see you try oh, shit. So, yeah, so he takes his dagger and he snakes out with it and gets you right kind of in the clavicle, you take four hit points of damage okay. from the knife. Alright, uh, all right. uh, I take four damage. Da, 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 da. Uh, and as... Uh, where did he stab me? In the shoulder? Right, yeah, right in the clavicle, I think. Alright, as the kobold stabs me, uh, Fizz is gonna turn around and then his eyes are gonna, like, spark white lightning and says, Oh, you tried me now! <laughs> <laughs> and then just like just where the kobold stabbed uh fizz it starts to crackle energy and i'm gonna use my nifty little uh feature uh wrath of the storm reaction yeah uh with one reaction 
uh, when a creature within five feet that you can see hits you with an attack, you can use your reaction to cause the creature to make a dex saving throw, Ooh. 13, or it takes 2d8 lightning or thunder damage, half damage on success. Oh, shit. All right. Yeesh, Damn. All right. Dude. Dex saving throw uh, coming up. Uh, 14 plus 16. Ah, oh, he makes it. So he only, he only <laughs> takes half damage. Which is... Uh... A... Ooh, so six damage. Um, yeah, so he bit off more than he could chew, and he just poofs, <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> uh, with that fresh stab, uh, Fizz is just like, the adrenaline is clearly gone to his head now. He's just like, oh, oh my god, I killed someone. Oh no. Yeah, so the, the problem is, he stabbed you in the shoulder, he pulls it back, and then all of a sudden that goes off, and his eyes just go wide, and he just like, Thanos snap dust. <laughs> God. And, you hear, and you hear in a, in, in, in a, in, in a uh, 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 gurgling kind of language, why? As it disappears. <laughs> this is already just like, oh no, oh, 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 oh god, um, oh no. But it is your turn, Fizz, now. Oh, great. <laughs> so Fizz is just like out of his mind now. He's like, oh, oh okay, uh, right, okay, focus. Uh, and he turns around uh, to see the three villagers or the townsfolk, and he just kind of points his mace and says, You three! Dragon formation! Lick your arms! <laughs> they kind of look at you, and they start backing up. <laughs> good! Good distance! And uh, Fizz is going to turn right back, uh, and uh, he's just going to make like a dash for Cobalt 6. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, uh, I'm just gonna get right next to Cobalt Six, and uh, he's gonna take a big old swing with his mace. Okay. Da, 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 da. Ooh boy. Uh, does an eleven hit? Uh, eleven. That is the winged Cobalt. Uh, no. So you miss. Ah, he's just. <laughs> Again, winged ones, they're, 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 they're tricky, you know? So he does think that he w flaps his wings again and he goes, Qua! I just went out of your spear. You <laughs> beautiful ape, angel monster! <laughs> <laughs> he's got, uh, Fizz is just going to pull the shield up and try to look menacing. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, all right. And is that the end of your turn, Fizz? Yeah, that's that's it. Okay. Uh, those kobolds are all dead, so they don't get turns. Uh, and it's back to Cassian's turn. I think it's, is it my turn? I oh yeah, it's your turn. turn. Yeah. Why did it skip you? It's your turn. Go ahead. My okay, my encounter thing here is all messed up. It doesn't, I, I actually, think she's there supposed to go right. before Fizz. Yeah, you were supposed to go before Fizz. Go ahead. It's okay. He missed anyway. No, sorry. <laughs> yeah, for some reason my encounter <laughs> builder added like uh, I did something cool. Different... I killed a kobold. Uh, you did kill a kobold. Don't what? worry. I killed, you, uh, did, you did so good, buddy. Let no, me have this victory. I have like 18 I characters in this in this encounter for some reason. It added like three extra player characters for some reason. I don't know why. So I think I can get there. right up to that. <laughs> and with that, I can get flanking, which okay. means I can get sneak attack. Yes. Okay, so first hit. Can anyone hit this kobold? <laughs> I can. Uh, well, I rolled a 16 to hit, so. That hits. Hopefully, okay, yeah. so here's my just normal dagger damage. So that is six, and then my sneak attack, which is 1d6. So that's ten damage on the first attack. Oh, you killed him, so go ahead and uh, roleplay that shit. Fucking, I'll, I'm just gonna slice his wings off. <laughs> <laughs> one fell swoop, so he falls to the ground. I yeah. like this one. So, so, she, so she works out, <laughs> both the wings come off, and it's like, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then with the killing look comes in, the eyes just get wide, and just... And it like like a statue just falls back or <laughs> dead with no wings. Yeah. Like, the Cobalt was out. staring at Fizz, right? Because like that, that was the last guy he was fighting. So Col <laughs> yeah. Fizz just saw that and he's just like, it's just even more horrified because he just saw two <laughs> Cobalt dead eyes as they vanished. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so Cobalt Four is like looking over Col uh, the, the, the 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 downed linen and cut just looking at him and he sees what's happening there and he's he's not he's kind of scared. Uh, of what's gonna happen next? Uh, so now it's Mal's turn. Uh, I thought Cassian was before me. Ye oh, Cassian, yeah, yes. Cassian. It's okay. I mean, I'm gonna shout out to the Kobold in Draconic. Don't ask me to speak Draconic, but I shout out, "Surrender or you will die," and I'll just 
cast um, Toll of the Dead anyway. <laughs> You're not gonna give the chance to surrender. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a hard what? negotiation. You, you are the bad cop. Twelve. You are the bad cop. <laughs> Let's I'll see if he can baddies. succeed. Wisdom save of twelve. Okay. Is he injured or no? Yes. Okay. It'll be a one d twelve damage then. Okay. I was. You say it was a wisdom saving throw, right? Yes, sir. Uh, minus two. Fuck this wisdom. Five. So he failed. Okay. He takes eight points of damage. Eight, yeah. Whatever it is, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> yeah. His head is dead. <laughs> So, the most yeah, go ahead. way to get that. them to surrender is to kill them. His head just pops as I say <laughs> those words. So yeah, his head explodes. More blood. Uh, weirdly enough, just hits Danik again. Uh, it just flies across and hits <laughs> in the face. Uh, so you're covered in uh, cobalt blood, the top half of your body, and your belly button is bleeding out onto your and loincloth. Can I get to Thanik? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Because we're no longer an initiative, right? Right. Initiative is over. I have a question for you as the DM. Yeah. Can I cast Mending on Thanik's stomach? Because technically speaking, it allows me to repair any cuts or breaks as long as they're not one foot in any dimension. It won't heal him, but it'll just repair the damage. Because it sounds like mean, repair a, a water skin. For, if we're <laughs> counting it as like a I, water I mean, skin. If you you wanna, called me if, a fucking water skin, but if you want to, <laughs> if you want to role play it, uh, mechanics wise, obviously he's not going to give him back any HP. Um, no, he just won't be <laughs> so, out. Uh, yeah, have fun mind. with it. Yeah, I'm just going to give him a quick slap on the shoulders and say, "Good job, fellow." And I'm going to cast mending, so his stomach will just heal, but he doesn't gain HP. Uh, sort of feel a little, a little tickle in my stomach yeah your stomach's just <laughs> your your skin just stitches itself back together oh that's gotta <laughs> feel weird i look i look down at you and i just i just, I just say i was saving that <laughs> <laughs> next time uh, uh, all right, while so all this is going over towards the uh lady who just got knocked down and is like okay. trying to perform first aid oh i uh fizz is is i i'll uh, fizz is like I'll, I'll take care of it I, i'm an expert uh, then and, get uh, over here. I w I will give me a minute. And you see that uh, the mace is actually has like a little like it, it's it like it has a little strap on it, like a Wii remote. And he just kind of like zips it up, so the mace just kind of dangles as he just runs over to uh to do it. Little... You wearing your mace as a bracelet. Uh, wait, well, more like a re well, like a Wii remote. Uh, so uh, <laughs> Fizz remote. is gonna try to stabilize the lady. Okay, with a medicine check. Go ahead. Oh, please. I'm, I'm a proficient. Come on, let me just do this. And again, Thanak is just taking about uh, a 20 16. Or 30 yeah, there you go. So you, you do stabilize her. Um, and, and, and she looks at you and she's like, thank you. Thank you so much. And her husband's kind of helping her up uh, as she stands. She's like, we, we need to get to the keep. It's the only safe place we have. Um, oh, and by the way, guys, uh, so you, you do defeat all these kobolds and uh, let's see. Ooh. All right, so there is, when you're looking around the ground, you see all their, their, their gear and stuff, and you see bags spilled yeah, I was about out. Yeah, I wonder if it's going to loot this. 60 gold. Uh, this, this, you didn't even have to loot these, because because the way you guys just tore through them, their stuff just like flew out and it scattered all over the ground. Uh, so you see 60 gold to split amongst yourselves as you see fit. That's 10 that. gold each, right? Well, That's a perhaps. Thanak is, <laughs> Thanak is, is disinterested. He's about 30 feet away from you guys looking forward. I don't know anything about what you found. Uh, I was just playing a violin trying to keep the mood. You know, maybe we should, you know, distribute to, to people who actually killed kobolds. I mean, so I killed the most. <laughs> well, I killed, yeah, I killed you, one kobold if that matters. That's what we're going by. Yeah, but I, I killed the one with wings, so I feel like that should count for something. You know, Why they're arguing, I want a sleight of hand. See how much gold I can get without them noticing. <laughs> uh, yeah, roll, it. You roll it. Roll it. You want to do a sleight of hand? Roll it. <laughs> yep. 14. The, I, My passive uh, perception is 14. I see yeah, it. She sees it. <laughs> <laughs> Mel notices it. that, still goes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, after, smack it out of your hand. Uh, Fizz, after like getting like patching up the lady, uh, kind of looks up and says, 
All right. Uh, safe house. Whatever the fuck it is. Uh, please lead us. Yes, is the yes. lady's face still, like, cut open? Ooh, linen? Or, uh, yeah, whoever was the, the civilian that was hurt. Is her face still, like, physically scarred? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, you stabilized her, but she's still injured and, 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 and bleeding. Mending. Mending again. <laughs> I felt like you're not purpose. ugly now. Uh, yeah. Fizz is just trying to <laughs> like, like, admit explanation for. like, I'm so sorry. I, I try my best, but I can't. Look, you still look amazing. You look like a great couple. <laughs> and I, I guess Cassie just kind of reaches over and just heals. Yeah, I just like, reach over and I just flick her on the forehead and then her scar just heals. Well, fantastic news. Uh, uh, no scar. Great. Uh, please show us where the safe house is again. <laughs> So she does point ahead. She's like, if we just take this road here and then we make uh, a left at the first uh, intersection and then another right, we should make it right to the keep. So we just got to keep moving. So she leads you Fantastic. in that direction. So you have now three town folk that you found at the beginning. You have Cuth and Linen and their two children, or uh, three children with them. Yeah. So you have uh, eight, eight peak town folks coming with you as you're leading this procession down the I'll road. I'll do something foolish and I'll take up we the rear. We've collection now. Mal's gonna be standing next to Fennec. Hey, you doing okay there, bud? You just got stabbed there a little bit. <laughs> I mean, if you have something that can fix the damage, then fine. But otherwise, I'll survive. Uh, well, I was gonna say, I've got words of wisdom, like you're beautiful. And I'm casting healing words on him. <laughs> like Aww. you're beautiful. <laughs> so that's a first level spell slot. Are you, are you flirting with Danok? You don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I mean, he he is a bard. Inside check. <laughs> I sort of, I sort of uh, look down at you and I say, "Now's not the time for these sorts of words." Hey, you get four, four, that's and helpful, heal four. Fuck yeah! I mean, <laughs> I would make a judgment call and definitely call it flirting because he is healing Fennec, literally Fennec right above is, his crotch. Is, so, Fennec I mean, is done with it. Dylan is very thankful. <laughs> <laughs> you still get a warm feeling in your chest regardless and you're probably confused <laughs> uh, Fizz is gonna like as uh, Cassian goes to the rear Fez is gonna go to the front and he's like alright now formation uh, man, everyone to get in the line and here we go and he just resumes <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh god just uh, like, right. like people I are mean... great fast we are here to help <laughs> I'm trying fair, to play my violin louder than he is. <laughs> it is it is a loud so environment. Just causing noise. Fizz is just like, oh, I think the only the only sound the only sound that you can hear over that is is Thanet just going, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you see? The, the, the adrenaline he's, 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 a, he's a popular folklore character okay. from, my, from my tribe. <laughs> you wouldn't know him. <laughs> Probably not. Just, the adrenaline oh, is getting so... into Fizz's head now, and he's just like, he's like, I've just seen two kobolds die, and I saw their eyes. I'll never forget it. <laughs> uh, yeah, then I can lead up front. I'm going to roll a stealth check to try and okay. hide from everybody in the back. I got a yeah. 16. I'm going to think... join you on that. <laughs> Do we all want to like scoot closer to each other? Are we like, are we friends at this point? Or are we I maintaining? Got a are we like COVID social I, I distancing? Here? The rogue. Class. You did. I rolled a five. I rolled low. Uh, it's okay. If it makes you feel better, I rolled a five too. Friends already. No. My, like, we my passive together, perception is so nine, and I know something. Deal. Oh no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Fizz is just like in his in his head. Oh, they're, like everyone's already friends. It's like we walk together. I fed them, so like, <laughs> I mean that that's that's friends, right? Like, like I yeah. can't imagine anything else we could be other than real good close friends. At this point, right? That's, uh, right? that's exactly. Yeah, at this point. Right. So, so are you guys? Uh, so you guys continuing up the road? Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. We'll we'll follow we'll follow the directions. I'm assuming somebody has mentioned them to me at this point, so we'll go uh, left and right. Yeah, so, yeah, so be, you move up to the, to the first fork cool. in the road. Um, and then at that point, you start moving down the road. Um, and right. as, as you move down, you guys can move the rest of your people down. I'll move to the town's Damn. Uh, okay. th uh, Thanks oh, and, and Lee. Just a, Go ahead. Just a quick side note. I think I found a way to make uh, D&D Beyond work. We'll try it for whatever happens next, but I think okay. I figured it out. Sure. Yeah, yeah, so I'll as just... you come around uh, down that way uh, on your left Thanic, around the house, you do see um, a band of more invaders. You see four uh, dragon cultists and a guard. 
uh, setting fires and, and doing their thing um, on the road there, just to your okay. left. OCD me asks if you can switch cultist to upright, please. To to what? He, he's, oh. His token's upside down. And oh, it's his number two OCD. is upside down. Yeah, oh. it's, it's my OCD. Oh, yeah, he is. He is, he is. Wow, let's fix that. What the heck? There you go. Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, so how he's long a little has bit different the than the fight? others. I mean, what? the way the way D and D works, it pretty much uh, every round is about six seconds. So you, it's only. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm just curious, like from us, you know, Chit Chen to again down to yeah, here. Yeah, it's it's only been like not even like two or three minutes? minutes. Not even. It's been like two, two, okay. maybe five minutes at most uh, since you entered. Uh, Authentic. You still have that inspiration dice. Keep that in mind. I I gotta Wild. assume. I I gotta assume the cultist ma- has heard me screaming. <laughs> I mean, they do hear you. They see Thanic turn around the corner, uh, but. Um, and uh, so they'd see you guys. Is there is there enough time for me to walk up to one just sort of nonchalantly? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Then I think what I'd like to do is just walk up to this first one, um, not really doing or saying anything, just kind of staring at him, uh, and then uh, immediately say, "This, this is not a good day for you." <laughs> um, and then <laughs> take my take my swing at him. All right, we will do that. Let me get this encounter out for these ones here and take all those extra players that were in there that made things way more confusing than it needed to be. Right, and this will determine whether closer. or not uh, we can do this. Uh, to everyone, flat one die. Yes. I will hey, let you, you know if I see it. I'm I see it. You. Holy shit, nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> I switched from my D&D Beyond dice to my, uh, I don't even know where they came from, but my pink fuzzy dice. So yeah. oh my God. we're there in business, go. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> How do you switch? Um, That's a great question. That works. All right. So the, uh, the one you're hitting see. is cultist number uh, one. All right. Yes. All right. So you, yeah, do you hit you 20? Yeah, you definitely hit, obviously. Also, shout it's out to my brother. Looks like 10. Here. 10 for damage. Um, yeah, yes. so you, you killed this cultist right off the bat, and the other one's kind of turned looking like, what the hell is going on? Uh, you, you killed it. That cultist is down. Yeah, down. it's very it's very much a sort of, like, with beginning at five feet in, like, this is not a good day for you. And then just as soon as I'm within proximity, just, like, across the chest. Right. Uh, the other cultists do look, the and, and they're, like, yelling, and they're like, how dare you? How dare you? Attack! Roll for it. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Ooh. Man, my initiative oh rolls are on point. That's not uh, disgusting. Uh, a, a spicy nine. I can roll with that. 19. I was going to say nine, but that's a different campaign. All right, we got a spicy it. Cool. nine. And now I don't have a million people in the campaign. There we go. That works. Cool. And Mel is number first, so you're up now. Oh, Thanic again. <laughs> and then uh, Mal's going to move. Five, ten get up into this cultist's face and uh, try and stab him with a rapier. Uh, cultist number two, okay. Yep, cool. cultist number two. I just gotta try to move the town folks here. Right behind yes. You. There we go. That is a dirty 20. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it hits. And that will be... Uh, six damage. All right, so yeah, you hit. Uh, you it looks seriously injured, uh, but the cultist is still standing and snarling at you, and it's like you will pay for that. Sorry about that. Uh, felt inclined to, <laughs> and uh, I'll leave it at that. Okay, and it's at the end of your turn. And next is Cassian. Wonderful. I will cast Toll of the Dead on Cultist Number Two. Okay. Wisdom saving throw. The hurt one. Yes, the hurt one. They're not as dumb as, as kobolds. Uh, 17. He succeeds, so he takes no damage. So yeah, he's, um, he's what you're trying to do. Just he use a random bell head. in its head, just like... Yeah. <laughs> and then, for my bonus action, we don't have my familiar here, Yeah. but I'm gonna send it in to fly in and use the Actually, help one action. one second here. Let me see something. I mean, there might be a generic one in here that I can at least put in for now. Let me see. Yeah, okay. Because he's going to use the help action on cultist number two, which gives attacks on him advantage. And then he flies away at the same time, because he can do that as an owl. There you go. And let me assign him to you. Okay. 
can't see. What a, what a beautiful creature. Or right? Male, he'll, 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 he'll be white soon. So it'll be a snowy owl. Uh, your name in, in, in Asher was Israfel, right? Yes. Uh, Oh, no, no mine's not. Oh, no, no, it's for Kyrie. Oscar, the grouch for yours. Yes, for Oscar. Grouch. Yes, sir. Okay. Cool. So no, he'll fly in, use the help action on number two, and then he flies away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> on top of the and, <laughs> and yes, and because he's an owl, they don't got to take opportunity attacks against it because no. of mm, its man. ability. So now the next attack on him has advantage. Nice. Cool. All right. And it is, is, is that, was that, well, the, is the owl's turn, the owl's, the owl's turn is independent of yours, or does that count as your uh, It works on my bonus action. Like, I give action. a direction bonus action. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. I believe that's how, here, I'll read this below. Mal is shitting himself, by the way. He's like, oh, that didn't work so well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It acts independent, independently of me. It gotcha. rolls its own initiative. So, so it's I will... initiative. Yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, just... I don't have mine here in the counter, but that's fine. It, 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 we don't okay. We'll it. just use it as mine for now. Sure. All right, so that's the end of your turn? Yep. All right, so now it's the guard's turn. So the guard is going to step up. The cultists are, like, pointing at him, like, do something! So he comes up, and he's not going to go there because he doesn't want to give you guys any kind of flanking ability. So he's going to go here to flank. Oh, the uh, guard's gonna... baddie? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, well, it's one of their guards, yeah. it's a. Oh, yeah, I was going to ask that. It's not a city guard. It's a, a, cult, a, a cult, dragon cult guard. He looks like a blue dragon. Mal does boring. not know yeah. that, so he's like, oh, you came to help. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to... Uh, he's going to go... Uh, it's, uh, you know what? Mm. To flank, he's going to have to go here. He's, oh, well, he's going to go here. Yeah, he's going to go back here behind you, and he's going to flank. So he is going Uh-oh. to come after Mal. <laughs> and he's going to take out a spear... Ooh, mighty, mighty, 18 plus 3, 21. I'm assuming yeah, that, hits. that hits. All right. She takes out a spear, and it... Go away, dice, so I can see my buttons here. All right, there we go. Uh, he's going to do a two-handed attack. Go four points of damage as a spear uh, hits you right in your flank. Kind of like hits you right in the flank there as the spear goes into your skin. A.K.A. his... Oh, not the back door! <laughs> no, he and wasn't man. ready. And that is the end of the guard's turn. Uh, now it's the cultist turn. Uh, cultist D, which is number four. All right, so let's see what does he got here? Okay, so he's gonna run up as well, and he's gonna go up here to also flank and go after Thanic with his scimitar. Not me, so I'm that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so many flanks. <laughs> they just me, like the pookie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll with advantage for flanking, and he's gonna roll. Ooh, 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 two, twelve. Does that? Yeah, that misses. Oh yeah, All not right. even. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Luckily, it wasn't on me because that would hit. Yeah. So he pulls a scimitar. Even though you're huge, somehow just completely closes his eyes and, and just <laughs> misses you completely as he swings uh, with his uh, scimitar. Uh, and that is the last. That's the end of his turn. All right, now it's cultist. Oh, he's dead. Elizabeth, your turn. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Yeah, it was he the first one. Right? At he's gone. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm going to go up to the one that's closest. I'm going to go up to the one that's flanking with Thanok. I'm going to go attack cultist four. And I'm gonna try to stab him. Okay. It's a ten to hit. <clears throat> okay, cult is four, ten to hit. Do 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 misses. Okay, oh. so bonus action, hit again. Two. Uh, that's a nine. So both miss. Misses, yeah, miss. Ooh, it's a very yeah. another agile cultist. They're just he's, this 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 one. Yeah. This one apparently uh, was an acrobat in his youth. Uh, so he just he just noodles yeah. his way around your daggers as, as you were. <laughs> but not crisply. It's just like eh. noodles. No, no, he noodles. He just, he, just noodles. He, does, he does like the the the, the, the flailing arms. Whacking inflatable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> inflatable arm guy. Yes, he just noodles around it. 
Uh, completely. That's my turn. I believe his name <laughs> is, is Bob. <laughs> All right, so that's the end of your turn, you said? Mm-hmm. All right, and now we are on Fizz. Okay. Uh, Fizz uh, is just seeing all this happen immediately, and he's, he's he's very slow. So he's just like, uh, uh, uh. Oh, the guard, the guards, oh, the guards, bad. It's bad. All right, uh, uh. All right, all right, all right. Uh, and he's gonna be like, ah, guard, and he's just gonna rush up the up to the guard. Yep, there you go. Uh, and then he's just gonna be like, uh, I'm sorry, and then he's just gonna whack him on the head. <laughs> Uh, oh, please let me hit. That would be nice. Oh, sweet. Uh, six? Oh, yeah, you miss. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you missed. <laughs> yeah, you missed. That, may, that mace apparently is way too heavy for, for, for you. <laughs> I got the strap on and everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, miss. So, that, that cultist kind of looks at you, kind of laughs. He's like... Do it. Do it, buddy. Fit, not gonna lie, Fizz feels <laughs> humiliated right now. He's just like, yeah, I'm trying to be cool in front of the guys. You're making me look like a fool. Uh, is that the end of your turn, Fizz? <laughs> I, I got nothing. Okay. I, so actually, no, wait, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, uh, I, if it's too much to ask, I completely understand. Is it okay if I roll like a quick investigation to see why they're here? Like in this uh, specific area, like is nah, there anything no. else? No. Yeah, All right, no, that's fine. No. Uh, yeah, you would you would have to like uh, capture one of them and and uh, do all that. Meanwhile, they got Lennon looking behind you, like she sees something in your eyes and she's looking and she's like, keep, <laughs> keep. All right, uh, yeah, Thanik, your turn. All right, so I feel like I can safely assume that um, this guard is quite flanked. Quite, yes. Um, not for right. you, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the cultist is flanked with you, with you and, and Elizabeth. Wait, question. Uh, oh. Did Fizz uh, roll with advantage because me and him have um, the guard? Oh, flanked. no, I didn't roll with advantage. Uh, Should have thought about that before you hit that button. <laughs> it is. Well, I just thought about well it's canonical. I... Fizz is an idiot. I'm looking at all these. I'm looking at all these folks that are like slashing at guards and slashing at a cultist who's also slashing at me, and everybody's missing. And I'm just sort of looking around and being like, "This is child's play." Uh, and I'm facing the guard, so I'm gonna uh, take my attack on the guard. Okay. Um, do the thing. Always the thing. The thingy. Whoa! Yeah, 23. mighty, mighty twenty-three. Yes, that hits. Um. All right. Cool beans. Not fantabulous, but uh, there's six damage. Um. Yeah. So you hit the guard. Um. A mighty blow doesn't knock him down though. He kind of shakes his head and looks back up at you. He's kind of questioning why he's helping these people. <laughs> but, uh, you sort of look at down you. at him. This is how real. Men fight. And he just realizes how big you are, and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's very much it's very much a back here to back here kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> um i believe uh that's what makes sense for now so i'll leave it there okay and now it is cultist three's turn so he is going to come up over here he sees elizabeth so he's going to come up and go after elizabeth with his scimitar Oh, still in the back. Safe. <laughs> <laughs> and God, my rules suck. Don't worry, I'll uh, nuke the ball. 14. That makes that two of us. Ha. 14 is my AC. Yeah. I win the ties. Yes, it hits. All right. So he hits you with the scimitar. Uh and he swings it while he swings it menacingly at you, and you take four points of damage as it cuts across uh your shoulder blade. Okay. All right. And that is the end of the cultist's turn. And now it's cultist two's turn. And where is he at? He is over here. So he's going to continue going after Mal, flanking with the guard. Oh, that. He's a little upset. Uh, like, I stabbed him, still, I um, assume. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. With advantage for flanking. And pulls out his scimitar. And uh, 17. Yeah, that, that hits. Hit Mal? Yeah, that hits. Okay. 
Uh, so 17, and it hits you for... Ooh. So he 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 fiercely grabs it, just double handles that scimitar, and just comes down right across, just right across your chest, and you take seven points of damage as it uh, opens up your chest. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Mal is, not, Mal is not doing so hot right now. Uh, <laughs> that was Cultist 2? Yes, that was Cultist 2. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's he's uh, dead next round. Okay, so Mal's down, so uh, it's your turn, so you can do a uh, death saving roll. I... Oh, it's his turn, okay. It's Mal's turn, yeah, now we're back in, we're in round two. Yep. So I just need to do uh, just a regular d20 roll. Where's my dice? I'm struggling to find the dice button. There it is. It's... Uh, natural 19. Ooh. Ooh. All right. It's good. He's holding on, guys. He's holding on. As Mel went down, he's like, bitch. <laughs> 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 Fuck you. All right. That's so all he says. Cassian's turn. I will cast magic missiles on uh, cultist number two. Okay. So they just hit. Yeah. Roll your damage. So he takes... It's 3d4. Oh, yeah, you destroyed him. <laughs> okay. So he takes you, you, 4, you, you, 6, Yeah, yeah, seven, way like over. Points. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I take off The I first take one off his kills arms. him. The next two... Yeah, just take off his arms. <laughs> his arms just fly <laughs> off. And, or actually, I think it sounds better if the first two take off his arms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then the last one hits him. Just somewhere. burns a hole in his chest. There you go. <laughs> All right. Actually, so he goes down because of magic, it actually makes his chest decay, and it speeds up his process of aging until his chest Ooh. collapses. <laughs> Ooh. So, so, so he's just he's just spinning around everywhere. Literally um, an 80-year-old stuck in a 30-year-old's body. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Aging yeah. his heart and shit. So he has ceased to be. He is dead. <laughs> he no longer lives. And then, uh, is that at, at your turn, Cassian? Or I'll, get, I'll get my owl to come out and fly down and use the help action. Okay on the guard, so attacks on him have advantage. Okay. Noted. Uh, and now it is uh, the guard's turn. And he is, wow, you guys are just surrounded his, this motherfucker. Uh, Alright, so he's, he's, he's gonna look at Fizz because he's the smaller one, um, and even though Thanic hurt him, he's like, I'm gonna go after the smaller guy. <laughs> um, it's, it's just easier uh, for me that way. Uh, so he's gonna pull out his spear again and go after. Fizz. Is there any flanking in this? Uh, not for Fizz. Oh, no, no, no flanking. I was gonna say I think not with old dude dead. Yeah, yeah. And he rolls fourteen to hit. Oh, he misses. Yeah, that misses. Yeah, so he's Yay. hurt because because wow, fucked you guys him up. Have and, high and AC. <laughs> it just clings. It's, it's, it's the shield. It's so <laughs> the good. Shield. Fizz is just like his eyes are like if the guard could see Fizz's eyes, Fizz's eyes is just radically just insane. He's just like ah ah, ah too much happening. <laughs> Missed, ah, motherfucker. All right, so now it's Cultist <laughs> Four's turn, uh, which is this map is so crowded. All right, uh, so he does have flanking, so he's gonna go after Thanic for the flank on that. Uh, how does he have? Oh, cause the guard. Okay, I'm blind. Right. right. Guard's still there. He's still alive. Yeah, I thought the guard and Thanic were opposite for a second. Yeah, the name tags are huge on this map, but I think it's because I have the, the grid so small, so it's, it's mm-hmm. the name tags are taking blood. Oh, okay, but I, yeah. I actually tried to go to scale. I, the map actually has a scale at the bottom, so I actually made it to scale, so that's why the squares are small. On this one. Uh, but yeah, so, oh, 21. That hits. Yeah, it does. Uh, Alright, he's going to also use a two-handed attack, and it does five points of damage as the spear um Go back into your belly button again. He saw that he saw this really weird mending job on your belly button, so he's gonna go back into your belly button with the spear. If 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 that's not like a cannon place for people to attack me for the rest of this campaign, I'm gonna be upset with you. All right, so that's his You'll turn. You'll never be able to wear bikinis again. Never, never, never. No, no, he, he, listen, ass. he's jealous you ruined of the my whole summer. <laughs> he's jealous of the abs. He's jealous of the abs. Okay. He, 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 Does he, that have an any or an Audi belly button? <laughs> you, you, you can't. Because it's an any now. You can't tell because this is the only Goliath you've ever seen that's in full fucking plate armor. So you have no idea. <laughs> that is All right, terrifying. And now it is uh, Elizabeth's turn. Uh, 
Okay, so flink does flinking give advantage? I always yeah advantage. Is on that your what it does? Roll. Okay, yeah. and, and in D&D right, Beyond, so I didn't do that last time. Um, on your attack roll, if you right click it, you can ch- you can check advantage or disadvantage. So yeah, yeah. Okay, so oh, I didn't know that. So yeah. I'll attack the cultist number four with advantage this time. Okay. That's a 19 yeah, that to hit. Hits. So here is and he's flanked, so here's my just the dagger. It's seven damage plus my sneak attack. Eleven damage total. Oh yeah, he gone. He gone. Okay, perfect. So, RP so, that shit. <laughs> oh, just straight through the skull. Just just <laughs> you, you go so far, you, you just see the little tip just peek out and then sh- back out Boop. and then yeah 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 and then i i think i saw my bonus action i still have my movement can i attack someone if i stand like right here if i could can i attack the guard if i stand right there uh yeah yeah you can attack the guard okay with advantage because so do- yeah because you advantage. did the help you did the help action so there's advantage you can attack twice oh that's bonus actions what robes do yeah oh Okay. That's why, yeah, you got uh, 11 to hit, I'm guessing misses. Uh, no, that misses. Okay, all right. All right, that's my... That's and my you were turn. just lucky. The guard's just still woozy from, from Thanic fucking him up, so... Mm-hmm. When you went to hit him, he just kind of like... a six and a one. Oh, dang. He kind of weaved, like, this way, and it just missed him. <laughs> as it mm-hmm. happened. Uh, all right, is that the end of okay. your turn? Yep. All right, and now it's Fizz's turn. Okay. Uh, he he's he sees the like woozing guard, and he's just thinking like, if I miss this, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna cry tonight. I'm gonna cry tonight. All right, here we go. And he's just gonna go like, <laughs> uh, and uh, because it's flanking, I get advantage, right? Yeah. You, and well, you have advantage I'll, anyway. Because I will of help. help action. Yeah. All right, Al. Thank you, Mister Al. Uh, advantage. Uh, roll. Uh. Twelve, thir- fifteen. You still miss. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> you still uh, miss. As, it's just one swing, and it, like as it miss, he just Fizz just holds it. And he's just thinking, "Yeah, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry later. I'm gonna cry later." <laughs> I have so I have so many questions for why I'm here, why I'm doing this. <laughs> the, guard, the guard sees what you try to do, and. I- Woozy, he kind of looks at you and goes, <laughs> as he laughs, oh, as you miss. <laughs> no. uh, as like just one miss. Actually, you know what? I'm going to be smart. I still have my movement. Okay. All right. God, I hope this guard is dumb. All right. Uh, Fizz is just going to be like, as he misses and he sees the guard laughing at him, like, like you... The, he's his brain is going into overpower because he's just like I'm not gonna have this motherfucker laugh at me, <laughs> and so uh, first uh, Fizz is gonna like just move away, so like he's gonna pop one space back to kind of like try to get a um uh, what's the what's it called. Attack of opportunity. Yeah, attack of opportunity from the guard. Yeah, as he so like kind of like. So you move back one square, like like that. Yeah, just to get like just to get him to attack. Yeah, me. well, it's definitely going to get an opportunity attack. Um, All right, I see what you're doing, but damn you! All right, uh, so <laughs> so he's going to uh, do an opportunity attack uh, for that, and that rolls a 16 plus 3, 19. So that hits. All right, that hits. Yeah, and the damage is three, four. Four. four? four? Okay, great. Uh, so, as, uh, what is he attacking me with? A spear. Alright, as the spear attacks me, uh, again, his eyes light up lightning, and he's like, oh, you fucked up. (laughs) And then he's gonna cast his second Wrath of the Storm. So, uh, dexterity saving throw, uh, it's 13. 15 plus 1, 16! Alright, he still takes half damage. So it's gonna be, uh, oof, six ooh, damage. Ooh, that's enough. He's dead. You killed the guard. You, you tricked him. <laughs> <Hell yeah. laughs> 
and as, it's just as like Revenge is his. attacks again, lightning just travels through the staff and it just goes. <laughs> Yeah, so he kind of looks. He's still laughing as it happens. Yeah, he dummy. Ha, ha, ha. He spears you. Then, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> and then he's gone. <laughs> and he's just, just standing there going like, "Gotcha!" Oh god, I killed another person. Oh god, <laughs> victory is mine. And, uh, <laughs> and Fizz is gonna take the rest of his movement to run over to uh, Mal, and uh, he, he's just gonna just gonna be there and he's like, he's like I, I can help you i forget i can help you and <laughs> uh i i can't stabilize him that's a whole action so i'll just yeah can i stand over his body so no one can get like an attack on him uh they'd still be able to attack um, ah god damn all right so do you mean so that when he wakes up he's staring like at your underneath <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i'm back. trying to be heroic uh, oh, uh yeah i'll i'll stand yeah uh but, 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 yeah i got enough i'll stand right here and then just be like getting putting stra- like zipping up the mace strap and be like all right all right i can do this i can do this <laughs> <laughs> but uh I, but like even with that uh it, i <laughs> Fizz looks completely fucked up. He's just like he's bleeding, and he's just like, "I'll save you, I swear." <laughs> just uh, why is the three of you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now it's Thanix turn. <laughs> All right. So just in case I don't fuck on this guy, I'm gonna I'm gonna use my movement to come over here. Mm-hmm. Just in case you um, fuck on this guy. <laughs> that way, that way, if he that way if he moves away from me, uh, I can actually get an opportunity attack right. before he goes and tries to screw with Mal. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna stand over here and just like sort of like walk across him and just and just stare him down a little bit. I'm assuming an intimidation check is a full blown action, right? Yeah. I want to talk to him, but not that bad. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, and he's not. Yeah, he's not. Do the thing. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Worked. That hits. One hundred percent. That hits. <laughs> that hits. <laughs> uh, it's not bad. Five damage. No. So you hit him, and the cultist does. He kind of his hands go. Oh wait, no, no, no! Because he realizes he's the only person left, uh, and you smack him. Um. Which you're, which you're not dead, so somebody else can use their action to try and scare this bastard. Um, Battle and X, then yeah, yeah. Fizz, Fizz as... is just gonna look up and he's just like sees like like the giant figure of the Goliath and they'll just see the smack and he just he's just gonna be like, Keep him alive, we need information. Okay. Uh I don't want to burst my second wind yet, so I'm I'm just gonna say that's all. Okay. All right, and now it's that cultist's turn. Um so he's he's fighting for his life. Uh, so he pulls out his scimitar, and he's like, hey, he's got to try to stop this giant somehow. Uh, so he's going to come at you uh, with his scimitar attack. And, whoo, 19 plus 3, 22. Yeah, go ahead. And I, I'd say, uh, just as a question before you roll damage, Stone's Endurance, I can use it even after I know the damage, correct? Um, I, I'm not sure, actually. Let me take it. Let me read, uh, let me read uh, up oh, you know what? Yeah, that's a, that's exactly what it is. When you take damage, you can use a reaction to roll a d12. Yeah, so I know. can wait until I know. Yeah. Well, it is six points of damage. Okay. So I'm going to need stones. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> let's just do big that money, money, thing. Money. Uh, let me see if I can make this work. I may need you to know. Alright, it's doing the thing again on, on stuff that I can't right click on, so I may need you to roll that for me. Okay. Uh we're doing let's see that's that's a, a reaction, right? Yeah, one D twelve plus three. Oh yeah, that you yeah, you, that you gotta like roll manually, I believe. Because it's not it's, yeah, it's not a clickable thing, you just gotta roll that as a manual dice. So one D twelve. Well I got dice. Well I mean what I mean by manual dice is the, the dice button on the screen instead of like an actual yeah, there's oh, a button since, that's, on the... since that's not working for me I think that's the problem I don't know if you can roll it or if yeah, I, yeah, I can roll actually it. manually roll it I can okay, roll cool. it. so 1d12 plus 3 plus 1 plus 3 4 okay cool so if it did 6 points of damage that takes me up to 9 so down to 3 Okay, and you could check the box because it's once per short rest I got it on there alright so that's the end of the cultist's turn, and now it is back at the top, round three, Mel. Oh, okay. Okay, I gotta make another death saving throw. <laughs> so. 
Big money, big money. Well, another night in. So. Yes. I, I gotta assume that when Mal is like kind of regaining consciousness, he just sees like a bloodied fizz, like, I'm gonna help you. <laughs> You're just leaning oh, God, no. He's like, oh God, and he blacks out again. <laughs> right, Pucker up, Buttercup. Uh, can't see his turn. Okay, I'm gonna say to the cultists, surrender or you will die. <laughs> and I'm gonna hold my action for Toll of the Dead to see what he does. So shakily, he does look at you, and he's like, you "Can I, have no can I idea make an the attempt a persuasion power. roll at disadvantage or something to do it?" Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, there's a there's a, a Goliath right next to him. Surely, where, now, well, are, are you are you trying him? to make him just? Are you trying to make him run away, or are you trying to no, make just him surrender? Surrender yeah. to you, okay? So disadvantage or just straight? Um, do it this well. You guys have beaten everyone. You can do it just straight. Persuasion. Just straight. Okay. Big money. 14. I rolled a 14. Um, yeah. You you convince him. So he's, he's scared. And he kind of drops a scimitar. And he's like, just don't kill me. Please, just don't kill me. Don't kill me. And he, and he, I and swear he, by my word, you will not be killed by me. <laughs> By me. Turns around, <laughs> it turns around to see Stanek. Uh, <laughs> I'd suggest you get down on your knees now. <laughs> Not for gross shit. <laughs> Not for gross shit. We're all just looking at you with I'm eyebrows ready, raised. I'm ready like... to I, I, I got to assume it's just like, it's like, you better get on down on your knees. Just dead silence. And he's just like, wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so you, have, <laughs> you have a captured cultist with you guys now as well. Let me line you guys up here so it's easier to move everyone as you guys move. I will take. I'll do a medicine check to uh, stabilize Mal. Okay. Eh? Do you really have to? I I'm not risking it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not risking it. I'm just saying. You're lucky, Mal's unconscious. He'll be witty dude's right dude's now. Rolling nine <laughs> on death saving throws for fun. I, like, it can I mean, end horribly. I'm rolling the medicine. You... If he really wanted to live, he would have rolled, rolled an at 20. Let's face it. 18. Right? 18. You're back. Dice shaming. <laughs> Dice shaming? <laughs> sorry. Sorry, I rolled a 19. Uh, 18. Wait, wait, what, what are we rolling this for now? I missed it. What are we rolling? Eight, uh, I rolled working? medicine. To, oh, the medicine uh, check. Stabilize yeah, yeah, yeah. Mal. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was right. stabilizing me. It's that two successful rolls, so I will say, yeah, he's, he's stabilized. So you're not, you're yeah. not dying, Mal. Am I you're unconscious good, still, though? But you ain't dying. No, once you're stabilized... Well, yeah, stabilized would still be unconscious. I think you're still unconscious until you get at least one hit point. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm still just out cold on the ground. Yeah, yeah. but you're stable. And after Mal stops, like, the bleeding, he just kind of leans over and just goes like, Mal, Mal, wake up. We still got we, we still gotta go. Come on, man. <laughs> he, uh, Mal, like, Fizz gets, like, his, like, his cook utensils gets out, like, a, a stick of cinnamon and just breaks it underneath his nose. Come on, baby. Ooh. Wake up. Put it in his mouth. Do like the cinnamon challenge. That'll wake him out. Actually, you know what? He's. Uh, is this actually is like... doing anything, or am I still out? <laughs> I think... this, is, this, is, this is all role play. You'll call yeah, yeah. at some point. In this time. is like, he's just like barely like alive. So he gets the stick of, two sticks of cinnamon, and he's trying to get it close to your nose, but he actually kind of like trips and then just shows up in your nose. <laughs> just like, oh, that's going to burn come back. when you wake up. That's gonna burn. In here. That's that's messed up. Yeah, this is our Mal, Mal, come on, wake up, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it's, the sticks of cinnamon are still in his nose, so he's just kind of moving his right head around and go, "Come on, Mal, wake up." You better throw those cinnamon <laughs> sticks away after this. <laughs> Not, nah, don't cook with those anymore. This don't. I expect those to be at the tea later. <laughs> <laughs> Special Mal Booger tea. <laughs> Mal Booger tea. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's nasty. Cinnamon, that's nasty. smooth, and chunky. <laughs> smooth nasty. and chunky. Oh. All right, so right, I'm now. here. Sorry, I had to prepare something else that I thought I had prepared, but it wasn't. Okay. All right. Uh, well, all right. If, so yeah. If... So you guys are getting closer to the keep. I assume um, I've woken up with one hit point, or am I just being dragged? <laughs> you're just, yeah, you can be kind of dragged and carried. Uh, okay. It's enough. just it's just Fizz grabbing uh, his legs and just dragging. Fan, fan like, reach down. Thrack, help. Throw it over his shoulder. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so I assume you guys are going to keep down the road there and make your way towards the keep? 
Yep. <laughs> uh, actually, I'd like to leave. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yep, <laughs> I'd say that's about all we can do. <laughs> so Ooh, if know. I can, if I can, like while Thrak uh, is is carrying uh, Mal, I'm gonna tie his shoelaces together. Yes. I, uh, oh, on. On. <laughs> you know, I really want you to roll a check for that, but he's unconscious. So I have a question before we leave. Do you notice any... Yeah, exactly. Why well, I did it? Yeah. Do you notice, did any, we notice any coin or anything in that fight that we just lost? Oh yeah, in that one. Uh, uh, if you guys want to do uh, a uh, a check, go ahead. Yeah, I'll do a perception check. Not, okay, that's a five. No, no. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Maul's yeah, just not, snoring yeah, at this point. <laughs> If can I if I take the time to look through the bodies, could I try to do like an investigation instead? Um, yeah. Or now that he already tried, I, I I'll allow it for this one. Um, okay. Because his was a complete fail. Thanks. Yeah. True though. Yeah. Uh, he, all he saw was gore and blood. Okay. He, he didn't even bother. He's like, I'm not looking at that. Uh, yeah. you, so you do look through it, uh, but you do find nothing. They have nothing on him. Okay. Um, no, Mother. No, no, nothing of monetary value. As, I, as I knew there was nothing. As as we march forward, Fizz is like he's gonna like all right, here we go again. It's just like weak, like fish, fish. We're here to help, fish, fish. Oh, okay, Fizz, uh, you can stop now. I must continue. There could be others, fish. You say fish. bitch, bitch. Yeah, no, fish. fish, like B I S H, as like the sound, like the weak smack yeah. against the shield. Like, fish, we're here to help. Definitely saying bitch. Something. Uh, <laughs> we're here, here to help. So, uh, uh, Lennon does uh, point you when you guys get to the Neforkin Road, and, sh and she says, just turn right here. And in the distance, you can see the tower of the keep rising up above, and you see the keeps over there. Um, and above it now in disguise, you do hear the roar and see the blue dragon. That's just circling ahead, overhead, above what? the keep. Oh. What color? Blue. Blue. Okay, I heard gold for a second. I was no, no, gold, slightly gold. concerned. No, gold dragons. Gold, yeah, they, gold would be good. Gold yeah, would be good. they wouldn't be doing this. They wouldn't be doing this. Blue. Gold is good. Blue is bad. Fizz just kind of looks up and says, like, wow, it's a good thing I'm nearly dead because I could have sworn I saw a dragon up there. Fish. <laughs> <laughs> Fish. Question for the DM. Yes. As per my background, could I identify the dragon specifically? Um, like a like a, a known dragon, a name dragon. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. Um, that would be a, a history check, I believe. Do I get advantage or... as per my specific background? Let me take a look. I I don't have it like typed in in the Beyond. I just have it in our Discord DMs. Uh, can I? Yeah, yeah you did mention that. Um, uh, can I? Oh, ooh, ooh, can I give Cassian the help action, as I kind of just lean over and be like, "Now it's interesting that dragon, because I think that dragon is the yada yada yada." Because, and it's just well, like I'm just trying. You would have to know what he's doing, and he hasn't said that he's doing. Yeah, no, I'm just looking up, like glancing up with my owl. I'll take my owl sight and have myself go up with the owl sight. So I can see a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, I, I'll. Uh, yeah, with your background and stuff, yeah, too. But I, I do. I would want, we want you to roll a history check. Yeah, uh, just normal or add advantage is what I'm asking. Uh, I mean, you hit. You have. You have plus two to history, so you just, you would just click on your history. Okay, so just a, just roll. a regular, just a regular roll, yeah. Okay, that's a fourteen. Fourteen. Um. Yeah. So you do. Uh, you, you look up the owl itself, and you see the dragon, and uh, you look at it, and your eyes kind of narrow. And it does start coming uh, to, to your, your knowledge, and you, and you start to realize you see some scars on it, and, and you realize that this is mighty, mighty Lenathon, the blue dragon of rage. The blue dragon of rage. Okay, good to know. It's just a name that came to my head. Um, yeah, that's. <laughs> I mean, Lenathon isn't the, the, the rage yet. It's just... <laughs> I will just keep that mentally locked up in the safe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. So now. Uh, you guys continue on uh, down the road. And go ahead, you all it. Yes. So you're heading towards the keep, uh, and then you you hear uh, a shout, literal shouts, and from behind bushes behind you guys in the building, up between them you see a uh, three kobolds and an ambush straight uh, jump out at you guys. So it's initiative time again. Uh, we spell one -a -thon. Oh my god. L e n n i t h o n. I was close. I had L E N N O T H O N. Uh, 
Okay. Since I'm out cold, do I still roll initiative? <laughs> Uh, uh, oh, yeah, I, I, um, no. <laughs> hey, that actually's not, you're just not participating? I, I quit the party, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I mean, you, you, you can, I mean, you can try to flee as well if you want to. You can try to. to <laughs> That's essentially what a zero initiative is, but. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't want to fight. Because the keep is right there, so. Okay. Um, can I, uh, can I do something? Uh, yeah, so, uh, they're ahead of us, right? And all, uh, like, all my allies are, like, in a tight circle with us. Yeah, yeah. They just came out from okay. the, the, that tree and that building. Okay, so I, like I, this. I, uh, Fizz is just, like, barely alive, and he sees just, like, another fight, and he's just like, I don't want, uh, uh, magic vanish! And he's gonna cast fog <laughs> around us. So we can, um... and as he casts, he's just like, in, in, in! Let's take a look here. Uh, da, da, da. uh, yeah, uh, fog cloud, right? Uh, yeah, fog cloud. You create a 20 foot radius sphere centered on the point which range. The sphere spreads around the corners, and areas heavily obscured. It lasts for the duration. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, uh, go ahead and cast it. Uh, I'll, all right, cool. We didn't really get into initiative yet. Uh, so yeah, I'll say you cast that fog, and they they can't see you, so they don't know what's happening. Yeah. Um, not a fog, uh, I believe, doesn't follow you. So you have to. No, it doesn't. It just stays there. So it's like in front of the keep, and Fizz is just gonna turn to everyone, in like very quietly, just like in the in the house, in the house, and just kind of wish. Okay. Like, in, let's get out of here. Let's go into the house, into the keep. Go, 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 go. Sneak it to the house. Sneak it into the house. The, the big house, the one above you guys. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or are we trying to go to the keep? Yeah, uh, that is the keep, right? The keep would be oh, no, the, the, keep is the, the number one. one. one left. The number one is the keep. yeah. Keep oh, is big number one. Oh, that. Oh, god damn. That, I mean, yeah, we could make I'll, a. We could, make, we could run for it, but that's a pretty. That's a pretty long distance. Wait, can I? Can I? Okay, this is. Uh, so, what's the wind your... direction right now? Uh, <laughs> I haven't really thought about that. I'll say it's kind of still. Still, damn it! It's a battle. Yeah, there's no, oh. no wind in battle. This is yes, there is movie. for it's for epic uh, hair moments. Yeah, epic hair. Yeah, because <laughs> like also, it, not, not sure if you know DM, but apparently you're quiet to the stream. They can't hear me at all. Uh, or yellow said you got enough. quieter. Oh, yeah. my mic. Yeah, I moved my mic away. That's why. Oops. All right. I something. Okay. I moved my mic away. All Thank right. you. Uh, yeah. yeah. You know what? No, I'll keep it. Fizz is, is stupid. He thinks that the house, of, like right there, is the keep. He's just like, oh, perfect. Fog. It's like, all right, we go in. And, oh, this is not. Oh, and he just kind of like looks, tries to look down the road. He's just like, damn it. Prop. Well, if we go in the house, we can hide for a little bit until they're gone. Then we can run for the keep. Unless they saw us already. But uh, they can't see us. Well. They can't see us now. They, they wouldn't yeah, know where I mean, we it's, went. It's, if we it's go... a 20-foot radius, so it's a 40-foot diameter, so it's, it's pretty much covering all of you. Oh, okay. Um, I totally just thought it was yeah, 20 yeah, feet. 20, I was trying to draw a circle, but that's, it, that's the, this is the biggest circle it draws. So I can't, like, I can't, it doesn't reach right. better. Um, now yeah, so going to be so confused. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it is kind of big around you guys. Uh, so, technically, if you do, like, kind of follow that road that leads it to keep, um... I would just say do this. Uh, you have that, and then have everyone just roll a stealth uh, with advantage. Oh yeah, like if okay. oh, stealth with advantage. Yeah. Do uh, I just go off of whoever's carrying me then? <laughs> uh, yeah, whoever's carrying you, that this their stealth roll. That that's for. Oh that god, is, that is not good for you. <laughs> oh no. What? Thirteen with advantage. Uh, I rolled an eight and a nine. 17. I rolled a three and a two. <laughs> Is it is it down to me now? Wait, Wait you're wearing heavy armor, right? So you ha don't you get disadvantage I'm, too? I get disadvantage oh, yeah, because the, we're the getting first, advantage. That's fair, but the first roll was a three, and I have a negative yeah. one in the deck, so it's still okay. A two. It's still a two. <laughs> yeah. okay. All right. So now because I'm wearing <laughs> steel armor, <laughs> I have disadvantage on <laughs> stealth. So yeah, I'm trying uh, to see what the hell their passive perception is, and I cannot see it. Oh, so, I can tell eight. you. Oh yeah, they yeah, don't eight. need a high one. Yeah. No, you're, no, with thirteen, you're fine. You're fine. 
Okay, but I meant like if we're doing this as a group thing, most of us will be found. <laughs> Good job, Fizz. Now yeah, to 20 stealth. Enough. Look at that. But, but it's the 15. That ah, cancels damn. me out. <laughs> uh, let me have well, you this. did. Let you did, a, you did. You did sleight of hand. You didn't do stealth. Oh really? Ooh, Ooh I missed. I missed. <laughs> well, this going on. Be, I was just snuggling into that. Would be just a straight roll because it's still negative one. All right. Please I... be better. What? No. It, it yeah, says I did stealth. Roll, you no, one. you Not did stealth, Fizz. Thanic it's slightly did, better. But, okay. All right. Um. Yeah. No. It's good. And did you roll? Did you? You didn't roll that with advantage, though, did you? No, I didn't roll it with advantage. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. I did it correctly this time. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, you guys are fine. You guys all get through. Um, so they don't see you. They're, just, they're confused by this yeah. fog. They don't know what's happening. Um, and you guys all sneak away safely. Wrong button. Good yeah. enough. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, Twitch okay. So you guys all sneak away, and they're all confused. They don't know what the hell happened. Um, so you guys make it successfully to the keep in the door. Oh, you're coming in the front. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have a map change here. In the meantime, successfully making to the keep means dun dun dun, dun level two. You guys have leveled oh. up to level two. Oh, oh, we, to get, make it we get healed immediately, yeah. right? Yeah, it's um, like it's like wow, right? We, we get to... We get yeah, to, I'm actually leveling right. up does not regain your hit points. <laughs> so I'm yeah, still unconscious. It, 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 uh, okay, okay, but you're, I get you're my only, spell. Yeah, I get my spell back, yeah? Um, no, I'm not too sure about that. I don't think so. It, uh, it doesn't. I don't, I don't think so either. No, nope. you, it's got. You got. It's now gotta, we could choose. We could choose to do a short rest in here if we wanted to. You could choose to. Right, and see what happens when you get inside too, because there's going to be some discussion about it. Now oh, it's map change time. My arcane condition now, though. Uh, I, I got. I, Fizz kind of like enters the room, and he's just like, and he feels like he got a little stronger. He feels like no. a little current run up his spine. He's like. Oh, I got stronger! And then he just yeah, leans over a wall and vomits. This changed my whole thing. <laughs> While Mal leveled up, he just gets a really happy thought. He just snuzzled, snuzzles into Do you have? Okay, apparently you don't have it. So what am I going to go with then? Uh, ooh, I don't know uh, what, what tradition I'm going to go with now. I don't know why Mal's character is... His icon is, like, shaded. Is going oh, on? that's because I reduced my hit points to zero on there. Oh, that does. Oh, yeah. Okay, gotcha. I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, oh. Mister DM, sir. <laughs> yes. Here, if I put, if um, I put the ten, it'll go don't, back up. I don't know if you have the content shared or if you have it. Uh, there's no uh, crone or just wizard available for me, which is what I wanted to take. If that's not available, I'll just have to think a little bit more. And what um, I want. if it's not available, it means I, I don't have it in any of the source yeah. books that I had. Yeah. Cause okay. Because once you share, it shares everything. I did. I shared all. So anything that I have is shared. Okay. So if it wasn't available, that means that it wasn't in any of the content that I had available. Um, then I'll have to think a little bit more on what I want to do with my tradition. Gotcha. Um, yeah, that, that can be worked out. That can be worked out. Quick restroom break. Um, yeah, since we got a map change and you guys leveled up, uh, we'll take a quick pee break. Uh, so we'll be back, guys, in about five minutes or so. And... Uh, we will uh, be back. So thank you guys. For Yellow, you're not subclass. picking my subclass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's him. Spells come back in D&D Beyond. All right. No, they don't. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> shit. Pre-planning, fam. Well, I had a pre-plan. It just didn't work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so question, are we rolling for hit points or how's that work? It's weird because normally when you just turn CR content on and off, we'll see. That. Uh, well, to, to, I believe in D and D Beyond, once you level up, it automatically. Yeah, we're doing fixed hit points. Yeah. Okay, that's it's what fixed I hit points, so it should automatically. Um, You're not making sure that points done quick. That it's, hmm, it's weird because the critical role content should just be enabled. It's not like something you have to buy. I don't think because I can do it by myself, and I don't have any of the books. I uh, I just. I leveled up fine, and uh, did, because... did, you, did you when you started your character? Did you uh, click check the, the radio button to hello critical role content? Yeah, it, it's on on my sh on my okay. option sheet right here. here. Oh, here. I have like I can right just right quickly back. port over my other character if I need to. But oh great, uh, because I leveled up, my max HP increased, so I got eight hit eight, eight hit points additionally. So there you go. He's just like ah. I feel so strong. 
Hmm. What what was the 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 class called again? Uh, Chronogist Wizard. Ooh, I'm a, I'm a oh, it's official about. content now. Oh shit! Where is it? Yellow, if you know, since you're in the chat, can you hear me still? I'm, I'm yeah. I'm gonna search it and see if okay. See if in D and D Beyond because it should tell me if I searched the character. Okay, well. Oh, it's probably in the um the critical role um wild mount. Sh- book yeah like when i'm i'm searching just chrono and it's pulling up nothing uh it's subclass yeah i'm just doing just a general search i mean like even if i type yeah. word chrono it should pull up anything that has chrono in it oh uh... i'm not even finding it like the only the only suggestion that it has it says chronometer that's the only thing it's pulling up as a, other suggestions oh, it's chrono um, chronergy was there chrono okay hold on yeah, but Chrono Wizard doesn't okay. pull up anything. So it's C H R O N U. But oh, Chrono. It's not Chrono, yeah. It's Explorer's Guide to Wild Gotcha. Mode, sure. Okay, so I'm spelling it wrong. That's the problem. Oh, yeah, because okay. it's not Chrono. Oh, that... It's not it's not Chrono, just it's Chrono G. I see. I'm still not finding it. Re- weird. Yeah, but that's the other session, Chrono G. Yeah, here I'll copy and paste the what it's titled in the D in the. Yeah, Discord it looks book. like it's like it looks like it's it's. Chronogy Wizard Compendium Explorer's Guide Explorer's Guide to Wild Mount is where it looks like that Chronogy Magic is in. Yeah. And I'm assuming you don't have it. That's unfortunate, but I'll oh, buy man. it for you. No. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you. I would. I won't have it unless you share it with me in the campaign. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, okay. again, I don't, I don't well, tell anyone they have to spend any money at all. If you want to buy it, feel free. I'm, I'm, it's official content, so I need it now. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's my favorite. It's my favorite thing. So I have to find this book. I'm just to it. All right, I'm gonna go take my pee break and get another drink. So I will be back. All right. Cool. How do I purchase books? D and D Beyond. Let me spend my money. <laughs> Give me all oh. money. Tools I... marketplace. Ha ha. Store found it. I will thank nobody because I found it myself. Good. Congratulate yourself. I I will, and I will I guess reluctantly thank Yellow because he told me where it was. Uh, if I buy it, everybody gets it, or if Mister Lung Lunga, I can't. I'm just gonna just call him DM Sir because I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's just Lunga. Lunga? Okay. Just call him DM, though. It's the easiest. Yeah, 100%. There we go. I may be unconscious, but I'm stronger. Uh, um, I am... I, 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 I'm, I'm stronger. Uh, I may have um, tapped into a power that's far beyond my own reach. And... <laughs> it's, it's, Hold on. Uh, Yellow, yeah, if you're still here, if I buy it, does everybody get access to it? I mean, not that it matters... But, but I owned it. You might not have to buy it. Refresh and check again. I shall refresh and check again, my friend. Ah. Uh. I love this epic race. Tiz and I, are, Tiz and I are bonding over the fact that we're both stressed out of our goddamn minds. I'm refreshing my D and D page. Mel is just snuggled in the panic right now because he's still unconscious, being carried. <laughs> Are you in the campaign though for this one yellow? Because it's not showing me that we have it. It's okay, I'll buy it. Let me find it. Yellow says he owns it, and it should be shared, but Yeah. So does this count as a short rest then, or just so I know what I'm done? Um no, no. We're officially the short rest, you guys just arrived. We all just took a okay. short rest to pee and get okay. granola bars and, and, yep. and drinks. Yep, gotcha. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Should I purchase it for my... I'll just... Do you have the hero tier subscription, Mr. DM, sir? I believe I do. I mean, that's not the top one, right? That's the middle one, isn't it? I don't know what it is. I think the legendary tier subscription is the, the top one. Okay, so I if think I the top one is what's required to share content. And if he says he sees it, 
but he's shared on mine because he, because he's on the other campaign with me. So, um, so well, because um, Yellow says he he has it. He thought he did, but I didn't Yellow, see it. Did, when it did you up. did you buy it or is it part of my share with you? <clears throat> he says he thought he bu he bought it. I'm just Maybe I'm just gonna yeah. buy it myself. Because I'll need it. I'll need it anyways. So uh, no one can see my stream, my screen. So we're we're good in that regard. Yeah, that makes um, me worried about what you're looking at, bud. Yeah, I have hero tier. Yeah. Well, I just want to make sure nobody can see my my card information. Oh. He has the one that shows the content. Okay, so we're good. Yeah, the only thing nah. you're sharing is your, is your face. So. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. I fear for my life. Also, because we're on the commercial break, I don't know if my brother's still in the Twitch chat, but don't correct me, Dustin. I swear to God. <laughs> that like, is? Oh, oh, that's your brother? <laughs> yeah, uh, the Anna, he, he sent a message in the Twitch chat saying, well, technically, rules as written. I'm like, you know what? Yeah. He texted me that, too. I'm like, you know what, dude? I'm sorry. Are you the DM? Oh, you're not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you in the game? No? Well, I didn't think so. Do you have the power of God? Oh, you don't? You're watching this on your phone? Oh, I shed. He's gonna, oh, he's going to have to buy it. <laughs> what if I gift it to him? Because I don't care. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll just gift it to you. I don't care. <laughs> just never kick me out of a camp hang, so I always have access no. to it. No. No, you can stick it. Hang around. Like, I'm cool at that with this stuff. I, I started this for all the other campaigns, and everyone's free to like, like, hang around and Okay. Oh, it's still my cart. Okay, let's go cart. Okay, purchase as a gift. Now, how do I gift it? Address I have no of idea. Want... <laughs> once address of residence. I don't know if it wants my address. I, I think I don't. I doubt it's mine. I, I doubt it's yours too. Yeah, yellow's kind of a no, no. He goes rules. We as definitely written, need I'm your address. Definitely rules as written. I'm with my brother. You know what? Did you a glitter bomb? Yes. You know what, yellow. Rules has written, you guys aren't in the campaign. <laughs> oh, I can buy it and I'll share? Well, you know what? Stop confusing me. I'm purchasing it for myself, then. Fuck this shit. There you go. That's it. Did you do <laughs> Let's put my that's real fun. name, which isn't my name in game. Well, that's fun. You guys know, but, you know, life is life. I have I multiple. Like, you buy it, and because the DM has a share subscription, it will share. So you do not you buy it. it. Yeah, yeah. I, still, I just thought you say. I heard you say neither, and he's going to have to buy it, so I thought you meant I'm going to have to buy it. Or that he's going to have to buy it, rather. Yeah, if you buy it, anyone that's part of my share has access to it. Yeah. Oh, uh, so uh, if we leveled up, does that mean like I get my spell slots back, or is it just like nothing it's technically else? On all, all D, technically is... on D&D Beyond, though, when you level up, you get your spell slots back. It does uh, not. I, I didn't, I didn't get any of mine. That's what um, yeah. Mr. Big Man Yellow said. Uh, oh, Zoe, it, I like you too. I don't know you, but I like you. Zo Zo Zoe's cool. Zo Zoe's good. Zoe's good. Yellow's yeah. a stickler. Uh, for, Yellow's a stickler for rules. Um, I could tell when you guys were playing Risk, hundred percent. He seemed like the type. Yes, yes. And any, any, any. Yeah, yeah. That says Yellow, but he's. he's uh, not, my he's spells not, didn't my reset, dude. so I'm I'm oh, okay with this though. Okay. I'm I'm a champion. I'll I'll live. <laughs> I mean, you guys are in this keep uh, and safe and safe. And by the way, uh, it's only been about, uh, at this point, I'll say it's only been about 10 minutes. Uh, it took only about 10 oh, minutes. Oh, my brother travel. wants to know what I'm buying. Uh, heads up, bro. I'm buying the Explorer's Guide to Wild Mount. So I have that book on D&D Beyond so I can play my subclass. This is, this for, for this, this has been the most vicious, life-changing 10 minutes ever. <laughs> I mean, I'll say this, guys. Uh, as, as far as with D&D Beyond, whatever it resets when you level up, that's what you're going. That's what we'll go with. So we'll just go with 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 D&D Beyond's okay. mechanics. Okay. Yeah, it didn't reset my health. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't think that. I know. It gave me seven hit points, but I'm that's still okay. Well, yeah, yeah. It yeah. Gave you your max. Yeah, it increased your max. Yep. <clears throat> okay. When it increases so my max hit points, I will still have max hit points because I haven't lost one. Wizard. <laughs> Because you haven't got even close to like melee, man. Yeah, but how many did I kill? Just... You've been hiding in the back, you little bitch. That's what. I'm <laughs> <laughs> wait till <laughs> wait till Mel wakes up, guys. <laughs> I will not receive any physical items. Okay, it has been bought. 
is it, me is as a person, we have to I, I that the bard had more balls than, than the wizard. Is that, is that what we're saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. You know what? I and will he suffered not, for it. I will not argue. That is canonically correct. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It is. I mean, poor me Thanos, as he got a, stabbed in the belly button multiple times. You know, he's not complaining. Me as a person, I don't like. I don't like Cassius, but as go. Fizz, Fizz is just. Is wow. gonna like, up, Fizz is gonna be like, "Hey, man, thanks so much for killing up top." That, that's it. Me as a person is no longer paying Fizz as a character. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Um. Oh, and I get more oh, spell God. slots, but I can't actually use add more spells yet. So spellbook. What can I prepare? Cool. Um, and I only get three cantrip fill. Okay. My HP. Oh, guys, I've gone up from nine to sixteen HP. I finally caught up. Right there. Yeah, I finally caught up to Thanic. Well, because yeah, he's gonna <laughs> well. I, I, I got up to Thanic level one. <laughs> there you go. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, I am officially leveled up to level two, and my yeah, initiative level two now. has been bumped up too because Chronergy Wizard stuff. Yeah, like I said, go ahead and you guys just go ahead and, and uh, do all your level up, and once you got all that, all your stuff set, then we'll move into the heap and, and continue the uh, story. Uh, is everyone doing yeah, okay with time? My stuff's, you guys, my you guys stuff's pretty right? basic. Yeah, yeah, mine I'm was good for time, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Mine was I don't, yeah, get I, just an, my I don't get anything until oh. level 3 tech for my subclass, so... It's I, a paisley. I, I can talk to God now. Uh, <laughs> I can talk to God now. <laughs> oh, I can I can beg for God uh, for, there you, go. you know, a low 5. Uh, wait, y um, Yellow loves this because John John was a fighter, his, his total was a fighter, and he, John kept forgetting that he has action surge, so he's reminding, action surge! <laughs> Wait, uh, I got, I, I gotta, I gotta remember. Uh, Thanic is a Goliath. I, I, does that count as a giant? Pretty much, yeah. You come to his kneecaps. Oh, oh no, like, <laughs> no, like does Thanic can Thanic speak giant? Um, that's a good question. I, that I don't know. Yes, I can. Great. There you go. The, Than, uh, <laughs> uh, Fizz knows how to speak giant for whatever reason. And he's just giving every he's just well, giving everyone like high fives. He's like, "All right, good job, everybody. Good job, we're all alive." And then just up to Thanic, just in, like in giant, like, but like really poorly, like, "You, great, keep at it." <laughs> he just reaches <laughs> way, way down to give you for, a high five. Just goes, like six "Thank." <laughs> yeah, they are. Kind of <laughs> Very welcome. You know, you know, I mean, this is the way I look at it. He gave me an image, okay, that 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 he got from. From uh, uh, Dungeon for, uh, Hero Forge, right? Yeah, Hero Forge. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's a very short furball. So. Okay. <laughs> Fur Furballs are also, boy wise, half I'm, not, I'm just going by the image he gave me. I? The image is is a, a dwarf furball. That, that's all I can say. Oh, so. actually, no. Uh, uh, my, I, when I, for my description, uh, I forgot I wrote this. Uh, Fizz is a soft seven foot. Oh, soft seven foot. Oh, okay. Well, no, he, yeah, he so almost eye -eye. you're almost eye-to-eye eye with Thanic. <laughs> Great! <laughs> I, I, got you, I got you by about a foot and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Please still, still on Thanic's shoulder. Yeah, because <laughs> both Furbolgs and Goliaths are half-giant. There you go. Poor, so, right. poor giant, just, just poor giant, just like, <laughs> like, like, my brother from another <laughs> <Yellow>. mother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And that's it. I'll, I'll give you the high five, but especially since you are actually almost as tall as me, and you just called me a brother from another mother, I just go. <clears throat> Yellow asks, "What? What? Or how? What is he hard?" Uh, I, I don't aggressively know. Aggressively, no idea what he's getting at. That I don't know. What, uh, what is? Oh, so back. for me, a soft like when a, someone is a soft height, it means like when you look at them, you don't think, "Oh, they're tall." It's like they're they're a soft person, but like a hard. It's you're kind of slow. Height, You're kind of slow. Yeah, a hard height is a hard height is Tharic. It's like you can tell, like, oh, they're aggressively he's, tall. He's he's standing with his chest out, his back straight. Yeah, he's Perrin from Wheel of Time. Yellow, you know, kind of yes. slouchy. Yes, the soldiers are very slumpy. And he's just standing, just like, oh, yes. right. hey guys, up top with like a soft seven foot redneck. Hey guys, good job. We were talking about that today on our mid morning show. I I, I really hated the actor that played. I don't know if you guys watched. <gasps> all the time. I hated the actor played Perrin. He was just... Not yet. I mean, the actors are all bad except for 
for fight. Uh, I got a new spell slot. And the guy who plays Matt, the rest are just not that great. They, they did not blow up in the end. <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> anyway, I, no, I haven't read the books or anything, but I always felt like they're, they did too much. They're leveling up. Chill. Oh, all right. Sorry, I'm excited. <laughs> I yeah, I will be right back. Now. You guys will I start. To... I gotta go say hi to my daughter. She just got back. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, is everybody uh, done uh, leveling up? Or do you guys need to... Yep, I'm all good. I'm, I'm good. good. I'm good. You're good, you're good? Okay, so we'll just wait for uh, casting to come back, and then we can get started. <clears throat> Zoe's asking... Whoa, this is happening. <laughs> Derek, or, you know, uh, Mal, either one. Yeah, Mal's just, like, passed out on Fanic's shoulder, just snuggling in, ha having a dream that he's being carried on a cloud. You're gonna have a lovely surprise when you wake up and try to take a step. Right. <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> How'd... <laughs> he's wearing boots. <laughs> if, if Mal Yeah, they have laces, right? Yeah. If, if Mal boots. falls ah. off of... <laughs> if... Wait, if you Mal's... tied my tail to my boots. <laughs> hey, look. All right, I, I, let's just establish that uh, boots are Velcro in this in this game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, just I mean, a toddler just say, style. What Elizabeth thought were shoelaces were just like leather castles that were hanging from his boots. <laughs> she just tied those together. My He's question... very flamboyant, so there's probably tassels. <laughs> my question is: If Mal falls off of Tharic, does that count for fall damage? Because of how tall Tharic is. Um, I don't think that's high enough to count. Uh, Fanak ain't letting this boy go. <laughs> but Mal is allowed to do a perception check to notice that the shit's high once he wakes up. Mm, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> He's charming, not perceptive. I am back. <laughs> Alright, welcome back. Alright, so, uh, Fanic. yeah. So, and and you're all, your character's all set, right, Casey? Yes. Leveling up. Alright, cool. Alright, so. And. That wrong screen. Oops. This map here. Alright, so you guys all walk into the keep. Doors are open. Um, and there's guards standing there. Uh, the one uh, right there by you guys greets you as you enter. Uh, right before he, he, he looks at you, another guard comes running from the tower to him, uh, kind of whispers to him something. He, he nods his head and then he leaves. Um, and him and the other guard close the gates behind you. As you close them, you guys see outside that the forces are starting to circle the keep. Um, so they close and bar the gates as you guys uh, come in. Um, yeah, so uh, the guard does look at you, and he, tur he turns you, and he's like, Welcome to the keep of Greenest. I wish we could have brought more people in. But as you see, we are being surrounded. Oh, there was more people? Oh. See, this is why I bash my shield so I can get more attention. Well, to be fair, they, they could have thought it maybe was like a war drum and decided to run away. You know? M maybe, but I like to I think mean, you... I mean, you try. That's what matters, is you try. I'll take that. I'll, I'll there take you that. Go. There you go. There you go. I, I tried. There you go. I could have tried more. I, I, oh, sort of, I sort of walk up to the guard and I say... Ooh. What exactly is going on here? We weren't expecting this when we arrived into town. We fought um, multiple different kinds of enemies. Yes, what, honestly, what is this? Neither were I. Uh, none of us were expecting this. The world has indeed gone mad. All this violence and destruction just for the little gold we have. They've been looting and, and robbing. We have no choice but to close the gates. Those, those poor people outside. By the way, I, my name is, is Sergeant Mark Guth. Uh, Mark Guth. Thank you. Uh... I don't know what else we can do. It's, they're surrounding us, and it seems oh, all for gold. Uh, have they gone after a particular building, or just have they been going everywhere and and, and grabbing everywhere, just Hi. everywhere? They're just everywhere, and and, and I I've been here manning the gates, so I I really don't know much about what is going on outside. But I was just as, to speak with the governor. Governor Nighthall, he's, he's inside the Keep's Tower, right back here behind me. Uh, if you go up to the first floor, he's in the study planning what we need to do next. Um, then he looks up and uh, kind of fearfully the sky as the blue dragon circles again above you. He's like, that is if the dragon doesn't finish us all off in one fell swoop. 
All this has done is breathe his deadly fire breath first uh, and some of the built town's buildings, and occasionally at the defenders upon the parapet walls. Who knows what the mighty Lenathon thinks. And he does look over uh, at, at Mel. He's like, your friend, he, he seems not doing so well. Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, we, have, we have healers. We have healers that that can that can assist him. Please, uh, at least uh, bring him back. Do you have Do you have <laughs> enough healers for all of us? We've taken quite a toll. Yes, so I we have, haven't we have touched. Okay, Cass, you're fine. We get it. <laughs> I am. I am perfectly fine. Back of the line. All right. We'll hey. remember the next time you get hit. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Next time I get, so he, he does. He does wave over, and and you see uh, four four healers uh, come on over. What princess? Um, to to help you, and they kind of lay hands on one. They're, they're, they're you have a baby to, to linen. One goes to linen, and there's three left. So the first one is going to go up to Mal, um, and he pull out a, a health kit, and uh, Mal recovers uh, four points uh, hit points uh, of health uh, with that. And uh, they look at the rest of you. Does anyone else need any assistance? Uh, er, prioritize everybody else. I'm still good, so uh, I'll take whatever's left. But everyone else first, please. Mel wakes up, draws his rapier, is like, "Oh, what? Well, what I miss?" Uh, you're, you're, it's um, all right. It's okay. We're we're good. You did good. Um, I'm assuming you were laying down, Mel, while they healed you. Correct. I'm like, so who was carrying? No, I've, I've got I've got I've got him on my shoulder oh, the whole time. Okay. They're just working around you, like. I go, right. I go they, for they the rapier. They, and they, I come, try they come and lay on hands. They just like touch oh. his butt. That's not how <laughs> there I'm you go. That's where yeah, the spirit so went. Around, so. There's two more looking. Who else? Uh, uh, the cleric seems fine, uh, and he's like, uh, "You, uh, uh, I, wizard, rogue." I took a little bit of damage, so I don't know who's most hurt. But I took a little bit of damage. Yeah, I just on. took a. Who looks more hurt? I oh. I just took. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, my daughter wanted to say hi. That's oh, that's oh, no that's problem right. at all. I, I'm gonna try and get in here. Here we go. Two more. Uh, okay. Uh, can, can I roll perception if I can hear anybody on the other side of the 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 giant door? The gate is closed. Yeah. 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 Sure. Okay. Is it question for the gate? Is it like a solid gate, or are there gaps that we can see through? Um, I mean, th th there's a. A little window with iron bars that you Kay. can see outside, but it's a solid, like, like a uh, uh, fortress. Yeah, that's you and me. Door, the double doors. Uh, the my perception. The big, yeah. the big, you know, four by four down to, to seal the gates. Uh, it's a smooth twelve. Um, yeah, smooth that's what I'll say. twelve. You, you, you do hear? What's an shouting. unsmooth twelve? <laughs> a little rough. <laughs> twelve. A little rough. Um, but yeah, no, you you can hear you can hear still shouting so and screaming outside. You hear the the uh, the kobolds like, and stuff kind of gathering. What uh, do you want to see? And all the other uh, um, forces that are there kind of gathering around to keep. Uh, but you do still hear lots of chaos and lots of screaming and shouting happening outside. And the, yeah. I, I guess it's just for a short, quick question: like, how actually is out of game? Like, how is everybody doing on health? Oh, I'm fine. I, I, I took, haven't been touched. I took uh, one hit. <laughs> I mean, how how big was the the cat the, the walls here? Uh, well, uh, you mean for the whole keep? Yeah, like like just for like where the gate is, like uh, how tall is the, like the walls uh, well, outside? I mean, the, the walls themselves is a tower that has like four floors, so it's it's four stories tall. At, at, it's a All huge right. keep. Um, and so and then the tower is a little bit taller because it has a parapet that goes above the top of the keep, um, which is that thing in the bottom. Right corner, that octic or hexagon shape. That's the uh, the tower. Your um, melter, and, so, and that goes up above, and is a little bit higher than the top of the keep itself. The doors themselves, they're big, huge, double fortress uh, doors. So I would say they're probably about ten feet tall, um, and each door, each door is maybe about five feet wide. So it's like ten foot, ten foot kind of deal. Okay. Um, and then you know, they swung and closed and put down the big four by four to seal the gate. Because just the, because Fizz, after hearing that there is like still other people left, uh, Fizz is kind of just like I, I was kind of wondering if I uh, if I could just like stand uh, on on the top of the walls, leave some rope down so like other villagers can like climb up it uh, uh, just to help. Or uh, we can't do that, can we? Because that's a that's a risk well, to our. Martha looks at you like that's 
It's a high tower, guys. That would be a lot of rope. And I don't know if you want to give them a way to also get in uh, if we throw rope over the top. Yeah. But again, I'm not I'm not the strategist here. The gentleman said would would, would, would definitely be able to answer questions are inside the Governor Nighthall. Uh, he's he's the one who's in charge of this town. And all I'm doing is making sure these gates stay closed. Thanax sort of walks over to Fizz and just like claps a hand on his shoulder and it's just like, there's a conversation that needs to be had before we start making any grand grand plans here. Let's go inside. See yeah, well, I want some healing first. Yeah, no, uh, for sure. Please, 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 please. Give me healy. Oh yeah, I do still have you. I'm just, you're awake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you put me down, please? Just by the just by the scruff of the neck. I mean, I was dreaming down, about you, but push. still. Yeah. Oh. Push, push. How, how, uh, there's only two healers left, right? Yeah, yeah, I'll go ahead and take one since I'm down 10. Not yet. Okay, I'm only down four. Yeah, you will so... see Nana, you go put on your pajamas. All right, Danny, I'll... You also got four point four hit points back. I'll, I'll take the heal as well. Fizz is just like, I, okay. I gotta be top. Okay, shape. all right, yep, yep. I, I am down. I'm not gonna finish that sentence. No, Fizz got six points. Hit points. Perfect. Oh, nice. Uh, Fizz looks at the person who healed him, and he's just like, "Thank you so much." It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. The woman says, "I, I owe you a, a fine punch. meal." You get and it, it, like Fizz, like out of his bag, gets like a little coupon that says one free Fizz meal, and he's just like, "Whatever you're hungry, you can just ask me, and I'll whip you something nice." And she looks down at it, and, and she starts to tear up and cry. And she's like, "My whole family is still outside the gates." <laughs> 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 there, there is a conversation we need to have. Let's right move. Now. Let's have that conversation as soon as possible. Yeah, let's, just, let's just say at this point, at this point, Thanax just like, all right, hand off the shoulder, bing bang boom. He's, he's. I'm just gonna tell her while we're walking by, don't order anything with cinnamon. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, no, Nothing. don't worry. Fizz takes out the two cinnamon he stuck up Mal's nose and just flings them over the walls. Mal Don't attempts to, like, follow in. after Thanic, but just eats it because his boots are tied together. <laughs> yeah, they are! <laughs> oh my That's god, incredible. how in Fuck the world food. did that the happen? Dying. <laughs> <laughs> the cultist must have tied your shoes before you went down. What a oh, shocker. Man, yeah. Can oh, I make an insight that. check to see if she's lying to me on that? Of course, obviously, yes. <laughs> Uh, where's my insight? It's so nice that oh, they look. She knows exactly what what you, insight, what you need for insight, so I don't need to say anything. <laughs> Five. I'll roll a deception check. Let me roll a deception. Just out of curiosity. I'm gonna... A pose deception check. I rolled a one. <laughs> my five beat your one. <laughs> I rolled a natural one. Wow. Yeah, you were Spicy. a bad liar. <laughs> Mal, Mal's just... just funny joke. He uses his rapier, cuts the boots, and then just stands up and keeps going. Uh, just cuts the boots. Cut... Not even, not even yeah, the, yeah. the strings. Well, cuts, just cuts... the boots. Yeah, yeah, just the yeah, the strings. Just cuts it like. No, not even that. Just no, 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 no. You can't take that back. Yeah. You cut your boots. Fizz, Sorry, you Fizz is, go, is just beelining to like the conversation. I'll go just barefoot. Like, conversation. I got. I got extra. Just like. <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I, oh, I, I saw a ca Danik and Cassian. Did you guys move your tokens? That building is yes. just like a building. That's not the, the heat, the octagon in the bottom right corner. That's the heat. I go and knock on the door. Nobody answers. God Nobody answers. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just following Thanik because he's big and I'm small. Uh, I'm following because I'm just like, yeah, so the, doors, going the here. doors are open. And just for uh, uh, understanding sake, this is the ground floor. So the floor above it is the first floor. Um, and uh, the sergeant told you that um, the uh, governor is on the first floor in his uh, study planning. Um, so as you enter the keep, you can see you know, there's, there's some couches there. You see uh, there's a big iron door where the stairs are. You can't see the stairs. There's a big iron door there that's kind of kind of uh, locked, and there's all the, the crates and barrels in front of it blocking its way. Um, and then there's another door in front of you across the rug, which leads to stairs that lead up to the first floor. And there's a couple of rooms off to the side as well. Okay, um, I have my owl. The first floor are the key. ones... Um, yeah, I see y'all. <laughs> I want to move y'all to point it out. Or actually, hold on. Um, boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Ah, damn it. That marker tool sometimes drives me nuts. All right. So, yeah. Uh, these stairs here are with the gray dot. That's the ones that lead up to the first floor. 
Um, the other stairs... The uh, other stairs here uh, just lead up to uh, the rooms up here, because these rooms are above this area here. So these two stairs lead up to this, just these empty rooms up here. Some of that. We could take over the keep. We could have a mansion. It'd be so easy. <laughs> Fizz is... so weak. Mm. Uh, Fizz just, now like... leads into her. So are you. <laughs> <laughs> So we're supposed to be headed up to the first floor study, correct? So if you if you're going to seek the governor, that's where you'd be going. Yeah, yeah that's for sure where we're going. And that yeah, looks okay. like this side. Yeah, this the stairs right above front of you. That leads upstairs. Um, Just all right, so you guys head on it. up. Let me hide that. Boom. All right, so you guys head up uh, to the first floor. I think you might have to. Oh no, I have to save that. There you go. Change. There we go. All right, so you guys head up to the first floor. Um, In. And then uh, he's in that room there, uh, to the right. Uh, the door. It shows I have to come around here. Looks door. like you kind of do. You, but... you kind of do hear some murmuring coming from there. That kind of leads your way uh, as you head on in there. Uh, Fizz is just gonna like like. He's trying to be polite, but he's like knocking on the door really quick. Like, I, I, excuse me. Oh yeah, see, it, it was already kind of open, and you kind of see, you see a head lean out. And he's like, come here, come here. He waves you in uh, to come on in. Yeah. Thank you for your home. Do you want to get a haircut next time? As okay. you guys walk in, um, you, you find Governor Nighthawk in his study. He's an older man. He's around 60. Um, you can see the right side of his face and his head are bandaged, uh, and his right arm kind of hangs in a sling. Uh, his light blue tunic is stained with his own blood. Uh, so he turns from his desk as you approach, uh, and he leaves you in, and, he, and how can I help you? Uh, so, we are adventurers, uh, colleagues, and we like to help more people right now from this a attack, and we just need uh, some sort of plan. Uh, we just need, if you have anything that can help Excellent. us help more people. He breathes kinda... a heavy sigh. He's like, well, I do not know every person in town. I do remember... Oh, you want to say goodnight to my friends? Good night! Hold on. Good night. Good night. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, sweetie. Have a good night. Okay. Sweet dreams. Okay, I'm back. There it is. Big old smile. All right. There you go. Aw, there it is. Let me see. Oh, you have a boob. Oh, oh, there's no boo boo there. It's just the camera playing tricks. Yeah. There is. Yeah, it was a little bad. Yeah, it's gonna be. A, it's. Oh, so kids OBS, are fun. Uh, browsers, oh, fun. Uh, browser uh, sources in OBS use an older version of Chromium, so it does this rainbow puke thing, but that, there's actually an update coming for OBS soon in the next month, I believe, that's going to update the browser sources. Well. Newer version of Chromium. Yeah, so I went downstairs. Do you want to come? Rainbow puke every time. Um, he's like, yeah, but while I do not know every person in town, I do remember faces, and yours are not familiar, but welcome to Greenest, or what's left of it. Excuse my appearance. I, I was wounded in the early stages of the attack and have not been able to spare any time for more than this crude first aid. Uh, so you're asking if, if you can help? Is, is that, is that what, what I'm gathering? We're, yeah, we want we want to help, and uh, we just uh, we're kind of looking if you have anything, if you if right you now. got anything planned that we can also help with to fight back or save more people. Sure. You know. Yes. Just to give you an idea of what, what's been happening here, the invasion began just before dawn. I could smell the fresh bread in the ovens from the baker's shop as I walked the street during my customary morning constitution. It began with swarms of kobolds and acolytes of the cult of the dragon. I was hit from behind, but managed to fight off my attackers. Uh, you hear a mighty roar again from above. Uh, the floor beneath you kind of shakes and dust falls from the cracks of the ceiling. Uh, he, looks up, slightly annoying. Uh, he looks up at the dust and kind of looks back at you. Well, shortly after that, the dragon appeared. The town fell into chaos, as you can imagine. Since then, I've been managing the defense of the keep with men stationed at the parapets. Luckily for us, Lenathon does not seem very interested in the battle. He has relegated his involvement to breathing his fire upon a few homes and harassing the forces up on the parapet. I spared whatever few men I could to bring the townspeople into the keep to at least protect them from the evasion on the ground. But as you can see now, we had to close the gates after you entered because we are being surrounded. He takes a deep breath and puts his head in his hands. He's like, but since you seem willing to help poor people of Greenest, there must be a way to get them here safely. 
I don't know as much. I'm not in charge of the forces themselves, but my my castellan, Escobert the Red, he is the one who knows more of the ins and outs of the keep and the city itself. He's not difficult to spot. He's a red maned uh, dwarf. Uh, he's the master to keep. He's the only one truly in charge of his defenses and far more knowledgeable. He's one floor up in the training and arms room of the tower. If there's anything else I can do for you in the meantime, please let me know. Okay. Uh, uh, the, there's a quick question. The lady who heals me, uh, what does she look like? Um, she was a, a woman, I would say, uh, in her late twenties, kind of auburn hair. Um, uh, the auburn uh, hair lady, uh, 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 her family's still outside, so I, I, here's what I kind of like look around. I say, here's what I suggest. Uh, we get, a, we get a couple people here, and we all go do an expedition, go back into town, get more people, and to come back. That would definitely make me happy, but I cannot open the gates. That's why we're trying to figure out a way how to get you outside without opening those gates. Because if we do, it would cause a major problem. But as far as no, no more. And I'm sure... Then I just sort of me. sighs, and it's just like, there's... There's no more information in this room. And he just, like, he just leaves. He, he's going, he's about to go upstairs. <laughs> and the governor kind of just shakes his head, and he looks at the rest of you, and he's like... I'm now wants to try you. and actually cut Thanik off and be like, let's wait a moment. I'm sorry. If there's a like, Castellan that needs spoken to. And he's out. There, I'll right. follow. He's I lovely. I wish I could do more. <laughs> I have a question for the DM. Yes. The room across the hall where there's no door, is there actually food in there? Um, I would say yes. Uh, because okay. it, was set, it was set in the morning for breakfast, but when you attack, no one has eaten it. So uh, it's, it's not spoiled, but it has been sitting there all day. Is, um, is there bacon? Because I will grab some bacon. Yeah, yeah. I will say there, there, there's bacon. Um, I am grabbing eggs, which some are kind of pocket bacon. At this point. Uh, <laughs> I'll just take a <laughs> stick of bacon. Dad, look. <laughs> sure. Go right ahead. Knock your socks off. Hey, my owl needs to eat. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I'm not going to eat it. If it's for an animal, oh, we understand. I'm not going to eat it as he hides and eats it a little bit. You hide uh, the. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm just gonna munch on it when no one's looking. Shame bacon. You're ashamed. I, I like to ask the gov. I, I like to ask the governor. It's just like there are no other ways to get out of here. It's just the front gate. As far as I know, yes. Do you, is there anyone in here that knows this castle like in depth or this keep? Yeah, the the castle. The guy I told you to go talk to. Like, okay. Thank you so much. You've been wonderful <laughs> help. And. And, he, and, and Fizz is just gonna be like, okay, upstairs, and he's just gonna he's just gonna dash out, like mm. not like not like a graceful walk, just like just full on, just like arm swinging and yeah. running. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, and, and just uh, a little meta thing: the governor is there for you know for any other any kind of questions you guys might have. He may have the answer, he may not. This particular thing is about as far as the uh, in, inner workings of the keep itself. That castle knows more because he's the master of the keep. So I think I'm the only one left with the governor at this point. Everyone else just bailed. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna grab a hold of someone, don't know who, just one of our party members, and I'm gonna go into my owl's vision, and my owl is gonna do a loop, and I'm just gonna see what I can see. Oh, that's, I'm gonna take the opportunity to grab your hand. You're gonna be facing the corner, and 100% gonna tie your shoelaces, too. Um, I can feel things, I just can't see or hear them. Slide of hand. <laughs> I'll fucking do it. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so you're, 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 you're looking, you, you want to, you're looking like the perimeter of the keep and outside of that yeah. wing, like a, a yeah, so over, I, if you will. Yeah, I just roll a perception check. I get sure, it. Okay, I noticed this because my passive. <laughs> um, I get stop it. That was the question. I, stats. I don't stop it because I'm literally blind and deaf. Okay. I just okay. feel it. Because uh, the owl has advantage on perception checks that rely on hearing and or sight. So my perception... Where is it? Cool, it's the same as an owl, so I'll just roll with advantage. That was almost great. It is the 17. Okay, uh, and how, how high you, or do you think... How high would you say he's flying uh, above? How, how tall is the keep originally? Uh, it's, about, it's four stories, 
Um, so, I mean, I would say each, it, it keep, what would we say, maybe 15 to 20 feet per story. Um, so, so, 100. So, it's, yeah, it's probably a good 90 to 100 feet tall. Okay, so he's 80 feet away from me. So, I can communicate, I'll get him to go another 100 feet up. So, he'll be 200 feet yeah. high doing a loop. Okay. All right. Um, so, uh, before I give you, before I give you the perception, I need your owl to go south. Uh, okay, stealth for oh. owl is plus three. Oh, okay, technically it's plus three for perception, so I rolled. What was my highest roll there? Because it uses my owl's stats. So I rolled a 19 for perception. Stealth is plus three as well. Instead of plus four. Okay, my owl got a, got another 10. A 10? Yeah. So the dragon notices this owl flying above the heap. <laughs> and it um it's just an owl compared to a dragon so yeah it's not a nice dragon yeah <laughs> it's, it's not just, a nice dragon just like you wanted that bacon dragon's kind of hungry <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no oh no he could eat as bad as that sounds so he's gonna swoop down he's uh gonna try to eat the owl uh, okay well so... I bet you he'll hit <laughs> um I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to give her all no chance to get away. Uh, he, <laughs> I would say, let's see, what, what, because I, I think it's just a one roll deal. I think it's just a one sure. roll deal. Um, let's see. So we'll do uh, the the dex. Owl. Do a, dex? Uh, a, yeah, do, do a, 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 a dex um, saving throw, I guess we can do. do a dex okay, save. I'll do a saving throw. It'll be plus one instead of plus two. Okay, six. Yeah, no, my owl's dead. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lenathan swoops down and eats your owl. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, and my owl will dead. disappear in a puff of green green smoke as he does it. So technically, he doesn't actually eat it. It just disappears. <laughs> he just ate and, I, and because it ate the owl, I get shocked back into my form, and I'm going to roll a dexterity save to see if I fall into those shoelaces. Okay, I, I won't, because I rolled a 19. <laughs> Fizz, Fizz, while he was running outside, kind of looks up and says, Oh, the majestic... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and he's just going like, I have to find that dwarf as fast as I can. Yeah. Yeah. Can uh, we say so... at least the, the smoke of the owl gave it indigestion? Like... Bag like heartburn for at least like five minutes, you know. Well, technically, I'll, roll, I'll roll my metal die for this. Well, when the owl oh, takes boy. damage, oh, yeah. it, just oh, it doesn't actually crit fail one. Yes, this uh, this dragon's belly. <gasps> yeah, <is up>. uh, <laughs> so he has a very upset belly. So your owl fought back. Just yeah, for yeah. A little bit. So he kind of pukes and it hits a bunch of guys in the parapets. Um, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Of course, when a dragon pukes, it's essentially napalm. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, this, right. was, this was not so yeah. bad. It's just kind of bilish. <laughs> uh, so it just, just plop down on top of him. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm desperately looking for that dwarf. Here. Where is he? Okay, so oh. you guys are going. Are you guys all going upstairs? I'm, he said upstairs. Yeah. I'm going. I'm. I'm to the second I'm, floor. I'm, 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 where? 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 Yeah, where? where, where, where. where? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. All right. Map should change. There we go. All right, so you guys go upstairs. You do find, uh, you see, you see the dwarf with a few men uh, sitting, uh, looking down um, at a table, um, at a few uh, like a some maps and other stuff scattered across the table um, as he's looking down. He's a stout shield dwarf. Uh, he has knotted, tangled, bright red hair, um, and he's standing at the table looking at a, looking at those maps with a captain and a few men standing uh, beside him. Um, you do see an enormous ring of iron and brass keys that are hanging from his belt and a mighty war axe yeah. strapped. Fizz loud, like jangly, jangly keys. Fizz loud as fuck just barges into the room and says, "Who here knows about this keep?" Damn it! He kind of jumps up. He looks around. He's like, "Welcome, lads! I wish I could give Hi. you a warmer welcome and sit and have an ale with you." But as you can see, we have a fucking dragon flying around overhead. I don't yes, have much I time. saw. What can it I ain't do? an owl. Dragon, technically, a dragon is a warm welcome. I mean, that's just. Not the kind of warm I like. I mean, okay, I can fair name enough. you a few yeah. examples of what I would consider pleasant warm. That is not one of them. All right, uh, um, my part, my adventuring party, and I are thinking we're going to do an exp expedition in back in town to save some townsfolk again. Uh, is there any other way out of this keep other than the main gate? 
Aren't you a adventurous lad? You're just ready to go. It's right on, right out there. That's I why you ran into keep, a right? I need to save the family. <laughs> He's like, well, listen. I'm as worried about the townsfolk as much as you and he. This place has been my home for many years now, and many good friends have already perished. But I believe I found a possible way to get more of the people into the keep without opening the gates. Gestures to the uh, Any points? Uh, to a crudely drawn line that goes from the keep southeast uh, to the river. And he goes, uh, A narrow tunnel runs from the cellar beneath the keep and the bank, the, uh, beneath the keep to the bank of the stream. He traces his finger along the line and he loudly stamps his fingertip at the stream where it ends to the southwest. The tunnel's main function was a secret means of collecting water from the stream during the siege, but it could double as a sally port. Kind of looks up at you guys. And you can see the haggard look on his face as he's been trying to go over this for many, many times to figure stuff out. Since the keeper's never been besieged, the old tunnel's never been used. Places his hands on his hips and he uh, kind of looks down at the maps again. The tunnel is wide enough to allow warriors to pass through it in single file. On the ground floor of the tower is iron bar door you pass when you're coming in, surrounded by all the crates and barrels. Uh, those need to be kind of cleared out before the tunnel can be access accessed. Great, fantastic. Great. How, uh, how, let's, let's just well, go. We now. are extremely short-handed. Yeah. I would have said it seen there earlier, but we just don't have anyone to spare. But it seems that you guys want to do it. Uh, why not? Uh, Bulk being on the parapets of... and a few left tended to wounded. Uh, what do you say? Uh, Willing to lend a uh, hand then? You seem like a hearty left. Uh, Fizz kind of like whirls around. Like He looks hysterical and he looks at the rest of the party. He's like, we're doing this, right? Uh, Give us 30 minutes. Uh, uh, I, mean, uh, yeah, I gotta go yeah, to the we, kitchen. We're here, yeah. yeah, we're doing this. Yeah, I guess so. 30 minute break just please. just for reference Hurts. from where did this attack resonate was it from the southwest where we're potentially about to head or was it from all around well there's multiple areas of ingress in the city uh, and as far as i remember they came from the east the west and the north few came over the river too from the south so it kind of came from all areas it just surrounded the entire city as you Odd i don't know if you noticed when you came in cold. they're like everywhere like roaches they're just spread out or across the entire town. That's odd coordination for a kobold. I mean... It wasn't just kobolds. They have a, they have a dragon up there, too. Other people too. Of a kobold is kind of weird. And one of my men said you brought a prisoner with you? Oh, oh yeah, cultists. we did. I forgot about that. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, we... <laughs> you that might be helpful. You. He calls uh, over one of his men. Where did you leave him, by the way? Where, where's he at? I don't know. Front, front gate. Is that front definitely, gate? definitely by the gate. We forgot to bring him up here. Yeah. He calls one of his men. He's like, "Go get, go get that piece of shit. Bring him up to the, to the, to the, to the prison upstairs." So uh, one of the guard runs out and he goes to grab that that acolyte prisoner and uh, bring him uh, upstairs. So he's like, "Yeah." So if you guys want to clear out all that stuff in front of that door, I can open it up for you. I got all the keys right here, and then I can give you some information about the tunnel and where you're headed. And with that, I think when he says. We are at the end of this episode. <laughs> hey. uh, cliffhanger. Cliffhanger. We're going to leave it at the most intense cliffhanger. Chores. <laughs> Me going to the kitchen. Uh, well, let's, I, let, I was going to say, like, wise, I will allow you guys, like, if you want to do a short rest at this point as well. Uh, I'm not sure. I think you guys are healed up, so I'm not sure you can need it. Um, but I mean, I do. I'm at four. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it for stuff. Yeah, I was gonna say, if anyone's doing I'll a short rest stuff. with me and they use a hit dice, uh, I do have song of rest I can use now. So you get an additional d6 if you use a hit dice. Ooh, nice, Elizabeth. Uh, you were saying something. Yeah. What were you gonna say? I was about to say like, it was like, I think when he said like, well, you, if you help us move things, I think we all like look up at the anok like, your turn. You're, you're up. <laughs> Go ahead and move all the boxes. We're Beast gonna stand bird. behind and encourage you. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna encourage you. You can do yeah. it. Uh, so at this point, fit. I would say, uh, like I said, you guys yeah. are you guys are going to move that clear that stuff out. You can you can go down to that, the room with all the food if you want to sit there and, and take your short rest and eat and I'm, recover. While we're um, short and resting, we'll pick I up. need to go to the. I need to go to the. Well, kitchen. this is actually the end of the episode. Please. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just saying. I'm, <laughs> oh, we get next gotcha. round. Um, in the oh, 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 just oh, gotcha. so you know, that's where Cassian, I be. Not you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but we'll Cassian, pick up. So we'll do next episode. We'll pick up there where you guys are going to go and move those stuff. Okay, 
There we go. Yeah, and apparently, just FYI, since my since my D and D Beyond is being weird today, I'll probably I might need you to roll my hit die. Let's see what happens that's whenever fine. all yeah, of this drops out. I mean, if that's issue, out, I have no problem see. click clicking it. Um, I'm okay with that. Uh, but it could just be a simple. Do you have? Oh, uh, are you using Chrome? Yes. Do you have hardware acceleration turned on? I don't know what those words mean. <laughs> okay, well, if you go in Chrome, open up settings. In mm-hmm. Chrome's, uh, actually, make sure it's called. It should be. I think it's called settings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Open up settings, and then in the search bar, just type hardware acceleration, and you'll see it's just like this uh, uh, radio button you turn on or off. Okay. It is on. It is on. Okay. Well, I should be fine. I would say maybe just clear out the browser. Maybe try to clear out the, the cookies or cache. Uh, and, yeah. And, 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 like I say, I'll, I'll I'll roll my hit die in the in the game chat once all of this stuff is shut down. See if it goes through, and we'll rock and roll from there. Right. I mean, it, it D&D Beyond sometimes gets glitchy for certain people with the dice, but it ends up clearing itself all that for a while. I, well, can I just ask a question? Uh, yeah, of course. The DM. Uh, so, from the moment we reached the town, how how much time has passed? Again, it, this, it, this is not a lot. There's not a lot of time. Um, each, uh, just to give you guys an idea, each mission, uh, it suggests lasts about an hour. Okay. okay. Um, so, so, okay, so, so it's I would going say, pretty fast. I would say this, yeah, yeah. So I would say this first, this first part, as far as getting here, coming in, talking to everyone, it's been an hour. So it's about ten p.m. Okay. Sure. okay. Yeah, so it's ten late. In game. Yeah, in game, right? Ten p.m. In game. So this has been the most. Out. This has been the most radical, life-changing hour for Fizz. <laughs> He will absolutely have PTSD by the end of this. Just like every, everything was bad, and then on, and then that lady was just like, "My family's still out there." He's just like, okay. <laughs> oh, "I know that." <laughs> you you spend some time with Thanak. And we'll fix your PTS problem. Uh, yes. I want to say, as a, as a DM, it, it it warmed the cuckles of my black heart when you were like, oh, "Her family." <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen here, weird tall one. I'll tell you stories that are much worse than what we've seen today. Yeah, and when Fizz says this is a terrible day to Cassie, and this is Tuesday. <laughs> you know, right? I mean, it's like and like my other group, love, love them. They're all my friends, and and I have I have no problem with how characters respond. They respond however they want their characters to respond, right? They are just a bunch of fucking assholes. They hate. They don't give a shit about people at all. <laughs> yeah, it's like. Whatever, <laughs> you know, it's like, or it's a passing care, you know, and I'm like, that's cool, it's fine, but it, it's, it's refreshing to have someone to have a little like fur bog with this little heart of gold that's just so worried about people. <laughs> it, is, it's, it, re- it really, it really offsets the Goliath who's just like, let's yeah. do things. You want to talk? I <laughs> no, want to do knew, things. This is gonna be very interesting dynamic. We got monstrously false. <laughs> it's that it's that it's that weird combination where he's he's a Goliath. He's a weird Goliath in some ways, yeah. but he's still a fucking Goliath. <laughs> yeah, so Goliath. Uh, yellow. I mean, here, Coda. <laughs> Coda is a caring individual, Yellow, but it's usually mostly about her friends or people that she knows. She doesn't care too much about people. But I will say this: she cares more than the other group, the rest of the group. Does. Let's put that. Uh, I will say that. Uh, <laughs> but uh, in general, uh, as a group, you guys don't care too much. You're like, eh. <laughs> well, we'll get there. We got some character development to go through, yeah. right? We, we, we'll get there. Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, no. very At some point in time, there won't be a dragon over the top of us where we can sit down with a drink and be like, "Let's tell stories." Here's my life, but we're not there yet. Right now, it's a Dra- uh, dragon flying fuck. over. It's a normal Tuesday night for Cassian, hundred percent. It's like we all just <laughs> met for five minutes and right. we're already in this. And Mel's just like, <laughs> yeah, I... j- jumped in on the road because I know for sure I wrote my backstory where we did not arrive together. So literally, we walked into town and we were just like, uh, "You guys don't look like shit. Let's fucking." <laughs> and at this point, <laughs> and, and this just short rest, you can use that hour, whatever you're eating at the beginning of the next episode, to get to know each other. To, you know, you guys sit at the table and you could, if you want, bullshit. We can role play off screen. <laughs> that works that we'll works just we'll just join works. in Sunday night and we'll all just do our voices and stuff and yeah. <laughs> for no reason. No one's watching. Yeah. But I'm I, gonna I, tell you stories down yeah. here when I could very easily do it here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I do want to say a, a, as the DM guys, thank you. That was spectacular. You guys did all a great job. Um you're all very knowledgeable, which which is which is great too. It makes my job easier. Um, not, not, not so much. And, uh, is that the point where it's like Jesus Christ, I'm the one I know the least. Uh, so, <laughs> I, hey guys! I, hey y'all! Happy first session. 
happy first session. But you guys, I, can we talk about the great. first three rolls were nat 20s? Oh, I don't yeah. need them yellow. Yeah. I, I just, I'm still proud of myself you. for having a 300 IQ of being like, I missed, but I'm going to make him hit me so I can kill him. <laughs> yeah. 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 Was, and I, I knew what you were doing. The moment speaking, you did it, I'm like, wise, I know what he's doing. I know what he's mechanic doing. Mechanic wise, mechanic wise, that's dirty as fuck. Yeah, like, I didn't even. I didn't that didn't work that. out the way that I wanted to. Fucking fine. Yeah. <laughs> Fizz is going fun. to explore. Oh, now that I'm level two. Oh baby. Now that I'm level, <laughs> now that I'm level two. Oh baby, as well. I can just force three rolls. I. I. Oh. We, I got we a violin you. and I make pretty music. We unlock feats at level four, right? Feats yeah, and four yeah. Feats, right? Oh, unless you're me, because I got feats. I got a I've, feat. I've got my action surge now, and it's only moderately cool until level five when I get yeah. my extra attack, and then it's just like. Yeah, yeah. That's when I have to bring in like real yeah. monsters. <laughs> oh, when I reach level four, I got a feat in mind, and I'm gonna use the shit yeah. out of it. Yeah, you can either do was... a feat or you could. You're an ability score. I'm I've the ability more. score. So I, I could have three sixteens. I've got. I got. Uh, you know what? My only hint of what I'm gonna do when I reach level four is that uh, Fizz is just gonna turn into a living Tesla coil. <laughs> <laughs> and not like just like a classic oh Tesla coil. Like <clears throat> you know, like on YouTube they got Tesla coils that play music. Yeah. Yep. It's oh, just you and Mal are gonna be jamming. It's just going to be a Tesla coil that plays the entire Doom album. <laughs> so a walking Tesla coil. What, what's even better about that is, is like his attitude at level one is just like, oh no, death. And the, when he gets to level four, he's just going to be like, death upon you. <laughs> Pray to your false gods. <laughs> I, I, I am God personified. Yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh. Uh, so I'm gonna look at the at the chat here real quick again. Yellow's like that owl's dead, fam. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent he did. Uh, Stormy's like I'm just waiting for someone to Leroy Jenkins a mission. Um, that that would be me, probably. Yeah, it's gonna be chaos. That happened oh, once already. <laughs> then yeah, it just yeah, charged of. right in. <laughs> well, he walked up to them. There's, they didn't stop him. I, I will say it was a bit of a slow walk, but also again, Thanek is very there's danger. Assess the situation. <laughs> I, I like right. And if you looked at if you looked at the map, they they like literally walked out. It was like because you can think about the way battle stuff works. It's seconds, right? So they walked out, locked eyes. Thanik was ten feet away, so he just like rimp, <laughs> pop. You know, so that's kind of what right. happened. Yeah. <laughs> and of, I, and of course, my first swing, like after all that badass shit, my first swing was like, uh, and then he missed. <laughs> and and you and know I what? Think on that map, there was fire behind Thanic when he slow mo walked over too, like yeah. on the map itself. <laughs> I got plate armor. Don't give a fuck. Burning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Except for when you're it, it, heated, it heated my boots for just a brief <laughs> moment, like a like a pan that was set on low. Like I couldn't yeah. touch that for a second. <laughs> Zoe's like, "This is a nice one." Uh, Zoe's like, "Now I have to wait a week." Yeah, Zoe. That's the whole point. That's what makes it entertaining. Lots of hearts from Stormy. <laughs> Philly cheese came in. What's one up, Glad one week we'll bring the those. we'll bring the Christmas jammies back until winter there ends. There I mean, you know, I, I, do, say, I, do, you I do have Chewbacca onesie. Christmas is over. I have a Chewbacca onesie. I have a Merlot onesie. Will, I mean, I I'm down for it. <laughs> I'm down for it. I feel like a Chewbacca onesie may need to be same for save for the Halloween episode, but like <laughs> literally, these are back until it's warm again. Yeah. The, the problem is, is like in, in my studio down here, I, I put a vent in mine because there's never a vent. It was always freezing in here. I had to have like a heater down here. So I finally popped the vent in here. So now it's actually quite warm. And even with the Chewbacca onesie, I'll start sweating my balls off. Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Onesies are pretty, like, they get hot. Yeah. yeah. There was also a Twitch sub tonight. Oh, nice. Thank you. I'm guessing it was your brother since you noticed it. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was me since I noticed it. Oh, it was you. Okay. okay, okay. <laughs> There you go. There you go. There's also a Twitch sub tonight, not to toot my own horn. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know who is, but... uh, Oh, God. I, oh God. Like, that's the thing. Walking, this has been a great session for me, because in every other campaign I've done, I've always been the idiot who's just like, I have a great idea, and then it just ends horribly. And twice in this one session, I got to oh. trick a guard to electrocuting himself, and I got to ninja vanish an entire group. <laughs> That was nope. so. Yeah, I nope. thank I'm, you for I'm, that. I I would have died. 
I, I'm, I'm, you know what? I, I've hit my, I, you know, despite all this god complex I'm going about, this is my prime. <laughs> this, I can this never is, top is, that. I'm going to electrocute that it, that it myself in a with. future session. I can predict it. <laughs> it's funny that it works out that way because this is this is the first character that I've ever played in an actual campaign that has no fucking dexterity. So like negative one on initiative rolls, uh, disadvantage man. on stealth. I'm just like I fucking yes, I'll do that. Yeah. As... Notes. Hold on. Where's my here? Right here. No. He's taking. <laughs> My, yeah, while he's we're taking, here, he's with he's counter noting. He's counter noting. <laughs> let's just while we're here, let's just recount oh. all of our very deep weaknesses and fears. Right. Uh, right. Mean, doesn't the dragon attacking have immunity to lightning? I have no weaknesses. Um. Yeah. Oh god, it's a blue one. Have a, yeah, it's a blue, blue dragon. Right? Lightning. Yeah. Yeah. Does it have uh -huh. immunity to a fucking battle axe? <laughs> that's, <laughs> assuming, that's assuming you guys are fighting the dragon. And do you really want to fight a dragon at level two? Yes, I, I was mean, gonna say I was like, look, I mean, here's, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I Paul will have lock the door behind you guys. So many characters <laughs> created that would fit this campaign. If Thanak needs to die to fuck on a dragon <laughs> level two, Thanak needs to die. You sound like yellow now, because that's yellow. Yellow's like, oh, no, people need to die. Stakes, motherfucker. I'm gonna be Stakes. I'll be completely honest. This is both a threat and a promise. If Fizz dies. My backup character is going to be batshit insane. Like, it's not gonna, it's not gonna blend into this world at all. It'll be a fucking isekai character. <laughs> hey, you remember when I talked about that guy who came out of, who was like, was at a rave and still thinks like he's on, he's oh, on so many Lord. drugs. Yeah, I remember. Wild that. mage sorcerer rave guy. I'm bringing him <laughs> if I die. Well, Ye yellow has a, a suggestion. Fizz dies first. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you think, Yellow. Well, guess what? We're just gonna like stand on top of the tower, looking out into the land. I'm just gonna push him off. Well, guess what? You know what, Yellow? Next. Guess what? I'm never gonna die. I'll never <sighs> die. Nope. Monk of the Sun Soul. I'll come and punch I... you, and then I'll stand back, and I'll just throw radiant damage at your ass. Just I watched this <laughs> TikTok where this guy explained how you can, with certain abilities and, and, and spells, you can turn yourself into a dragon. Yep. Like a full fledged dragon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Like... yep. It's complicated. You can do but it with the uh, <laughs> wish spell and then yeah. true polymorph. Yeah. Polymorph, right. I feel like, initiative wise, at level four, I want to beat mostly everybody because I get to have a plus six at level four on initiative. Oh, damn. Wow. Nice. Wow. Yeah. This is the first time This is the first time I've ever considered taking alert at level four just to simply be. At a oh positive number in initiative, because <laughs> um, right now I'm at a negative one. Most of the yeah. time, it's like to cheese it okay. and to be like at level four or level five and have like a plus ten to initiative. Now it's just like, can I not subtract? That would be <laughs> that would be so yeah. cool. Yeah, alerts on my my level eight level up, so I'll have a plus eleven to to initiative. He always complaining again. He's like, you spoiled brats. You know how long it took to get to level four and Souls of Magic done? It did take like six months for them to get to like level four. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's okay. We'll we'll get to the next boss fight and we'll be level 10. So yeah. Right. <laughs> next week, level yeah. 10 Just characters. Just rub it in. Just Don't you jinx us. I, 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 see, I see Darth Lunga taking notes. Yeah. Expect to be level 10 soon. <laughs> hyphen disappoint. <laughs> if it does a point. Parentheses, TPK. No. <laughs> I will disappear into the timeline. More notes. Guys gotta stop talking. He's just I'll... he's just actually drawn drawing our characters each on how he oh, fixed them to oh. die. Oh, it's yeah, just like yeah. a picture of yeah. his being I, I, I wish I could chair. keep my I, if he didn't have to roll for me, I wish I could keep my AC hidden, because then he could start like throwing some characters at us that only have Nothing like, is hidden from the DM. How dare exactly. you suggest that? Exactly. 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 I am not. He knows, my, know he, he, knows, he knows my armor class, so he's just like, all right, cool. Everything has a plus nine to hit. I actually Wait, do got to look at it. I that forget what's your HP? Quickly. I got to look at it a lot. And that's why I even ask a lot. That hits, right? And then I do check them. Like, yeah. Right? Well, I mean, sure you did. But also, like, everybody that swung at me got a 20 plus. So, like, yeah, look yeah, at that's... the righteous people. <laughs> I mean, I was kind of happy that, that someone was already doing death. Uh, max is 22 now. My AC is half your max HP. 
the most that's the, cla class. The, the classic Dungeons and Dragons moment. I have a 19 AC. That means nothing to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. We have a plus 12 to hit. Rollies. <laughs> I, I've, had to, I've had to do that in Souls of Magic's Dawn because their ACs are all like getting so high, and, and it's like I'm like, all right. Apparently, I got to have all these monsters with like plus 10. Oh yeah, <laughs> I've had. I played a blade singer and was able to get my wizard to have a plus forty AC or a forty AC. It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, my oh. was like, I'm just, <laughs> just, just, just leave, please. You, you, you say, you say constructive character building. I say fucking cheater. <laughs> <laughs> the DM gave me magical items that boosted a shit ton. But, so I, like, the thing. I mean, again, to be fair, the DM can put can homebrew any monsters you want, which is, I've had to do a lot. Yeah. With Souls and Magic's done. So, no matter what you have, I can always make something that will get there. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, I couple that with the fact you, you got a guy like Cassian's alt, essentially, uh, running in your group. It's like, okay, cool. Plus 30 to hit. I mean, who <laughs> yeah. fucking cares at yeah, this yeah, point? Yeah. I, <laughs> and not, not oh, that I've that done is. this, but it's kind of the truth. I mean, I've done it a few times. But it's like, at a point when it gets so high and you realize the monster you put up against them is just not strong enough that you misjudged the strength of the monster versus them. It's like, all right, well, he rolls this. Well, I'm just going to lie. He didn't roll that. He rolled this. Uh, <laughs> that's right. what he rolled. <laughs> no, that's that's the that's the beautiful thing about DM fudging. All of yeah. a sudden, like, first round of combat takes half of his HP. It's like, okay, cool. We're going to add a one in front exactly. of the overall max HP. <laughs> yeah. exactly. And now he's got four digits of HP. It's like, could I homebrew a whole another one with higher stats? Sure. Yes. It's just easier to do that. <laughs> so oh, do oh, that cobalt attacking everyone else? Plus two. It's attacking I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna erase the zero and turn it into a three, and I think that hits your AC. Yeah. 32? Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 32. But yeah, yeah, it's so fun. It's fun. It's fun. So, uh, uh, this uh, is gonna guys, be an uh, interesting any party. comments or, or suggestions? Perception criticism for me as a DM? Uh, you know, I, I, how, dare, I mean, people. how dare you guilt trip fizz <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the best i loved it i also Ooh. loved the the guard laughing at him it was, it was, it was yeah funny. that was <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a dm punching bag i, I knew it it was too good fizz to was just well, emotionally listen, abused today a, a dm's job is to easily pick out the most sensitive one of the group that's that's, that's our job <laughs> And I found it in Fizz, <laughs> so it works. <laughs> oh man, this Fizz is always gonna be that emotional one. He's gonna run down the hallway to save the girl and get eaten by a mimic. Oh right. man. Well, Jokes are you. Yeah. Maybe Fizz doesn't yeah. like women. Have you ever thought of that? Huh? Have you ever thought of that? Yeah. Yeah. How oh, dare you I, judge his sexuality? I mean, to be, to be fair, here. to be fair, that was already flirting the, with panic. The the soft fur bulk is gonna have to continually like continue <laughs> nudging like hard fanac as much as i hate that phrase um <laughs> out of the way in order to lead the group because like his, his very much his thing is like we're going where righteous so <laughs> on, on so, oh it's okay i, I, I did, I did, read, I did read the most of the, the i did read guy. the backstories and stuff and i have i have some stuff i, have some I will stuff. yeah i'll update that's my backstory wonderful that's, that's, that's great news dm <laughs> thank you that's <laughs> great. i got shit for y'all Fain excitement. It's it's so good because like my character Fizz has like a very simple backstory. So there's there's no there's like oh my father's come back to haunt me and he thinks he I'm disappointed him. Oh no nope there's nothing. No, no, I have a great easy. relationship with my parents. You're have you ever thought of that? A, I can create a Gordon Ramsay character. Trust me. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> hell yeah. Oh if god. You have a great relationship oh, with your god. parents and they're still alive. Gordon Ramsey. High <laughs> fantasy <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. I have a great relationship with my parents. All of my friends are alive. I didn't join any gangs. Like I'm just literally here to exist. Yeah. I, I read a I read a book anyway. once like I know none of y'all have. Fizz and, goes to uh, cook Fizz goes to cook for some lord and the lord's head chef, you know, Gordano Ramsay. Right. Uh <laughs> you a know? name is Shakespeare and Fizz's heart like <laughs> Yeah, I'm get up even at the, even at that out. one, fan. What are you? An idiot got, sandwich. Got, what are Gordonia you? Gordonia Ramsay is going. <laughs> you think that thing will hurt me? <laughs> you fucking walnut. And I'm even. I'm like, <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna end the show here. Yeah. Thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you to the wonderful players uh, for bringing this to life. And we'll be back yeah. next Friday <clears throat> at 10 Eastern time for this campaign. And again. Souls of Magic Dawn is still going on, so Tuesday, 
at 9 Eastern, we'll be doing uh, Souls of Magic Dawn campaigns. So we have two campaigns going on the Console 6 and all that other stuff. And it's the weekend now, so I'm going to take a break. I don't think much of it. Uh, so that's what it's we have. It's the weekend for you. It's the work week for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, technically for me, every day is a weekend, but... Yeah, I guess true. <laughs> streaming shit is, I think, the weekend. Uh, all right. But thank I you again. And until next time. Day. So say Bye. Bye. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye.